Welcome everyone to Suck It Up Sunday. This is the Sunday version of Shooting the Shit. Um, progressive Discussions, Hard Hitting Truth. I'm James P. Madonna, your host, and I'm with my co-host, the one and only Alex the Beer Master from Southern New Jersey, and I'm from Northeastern New Jersey, and we are here. Hi, how was your week, Mr. Alex? Good. Week was good. That's good. Week was awesome. Got some beers and stuff like that. I don't think I'll be drinking anything tonight. I, I did drink a beer earlier, but I should drink a beer with you one day. Maybe hoping maybe next Sunday I'll do it. I don't know. Let's well, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna drink to excess. I'm just I brought the uh this uh bar uh Dominican rum, Barcelo Gran Gran in Añejo Dark series which means uh, an aged an age rum but it's dark uh which i like uh, that sounds good i might i wonder if i can get that it's from dominican and yeah like yeah like like brugal is a famous dominican rum but this uh the two things that stood out was añejo which is aged extra aged and dark mm. i like dark rum and i like aged rum and it's sweet too right uh, a little bit. It's got that molasses aroma and flavor. Awesome. It's got that because it's made from sugar cane. It's got that molasses there. I guarantee. Ooh. Awesome beans. I shook it so hard during the theme show that I, a little bit leaked out on the floor. I wonder why. Well, hey, Johnny, Johnny Womack, how are you, sir? How's everything in uh, deep in the heart of Texas? The Yellow Rose of Texas. There he is, Mr. Johnny Womack. Uh, good to see you. What's up, um, there, Johnny Womack? Right. Now, we. this is um, part two of uh, the, the second, what appears to be the second American Revolution in 2021. And uh, uh, hopefully it won't become... Uh, the second American Civil War, and uh, it looks like the the people, the sycophants that believe the uh, pathological lying, uh, uh, bloated orange uh, demon, um, uh, narcissistic sociopath, the man that claims he will be he will be so busy working he won't have time to play golf. Yeah, right. That's all he's been doing. You're not talking about Donald Trump, are you? We're talking about the Trump and Stein monster, Donald Trump. Yeah, but he's leaving office, if I remember correctly. Right. Yes, he's leaving office, but he, uh, uh, the 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 massive crowds of uh, inbred rednecks over there in uh, at the Capitol building, they claim that Donald Trump incited them and and 
inspired them and gave them the word to uh, attack and invade wow. the Capitol building with their with their weapons, with their firearms. Uh, uh, um, and it is it is uh, uh, yeah, I would say all in all between the administration and those people, it's a form of, of treason um uh insurrection whatever you want to call it now um what i don't understand we all know that some of it was an inside job that's True. certain but the investigation is still ongoing alex but specific republican congressmen uh gave a tour shortly before the invasion they gave oh. a tour uh, uh, um, of the Capitol building uh, with civilians wearing red MAGA hats. Okay, the, these are the hats that these uh, uh, flag-waving uh, right-wing uh, rebels, uh, followers of Trump, um, wear. The cultists, this is what they wear, the red MAGA hats. Anyway, why would congressman be giving a tour of the capitol building the most sacred building in the country hmm. why would they be giving a tour to um, people wearing maga hats if they didn't have something planned and some of them wanted you know tried to bring firearms somebody a uh, right-wing congressman and congresswoman from the one from colorado try to bring firearms conceal carry into the Capitol building where they are supposed to be working, and uh, according to what was said and what was done, this has greatly intimidated their uh, co uh, colleagues, their uh, congressional colleagues, whether they be a Democrat or Republican. Oh. Now, right now, certain members of the squad. Uh, which are progressive um, 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 Congress women. Uh, Miss Presley of uh, Massachusetts is one of them. They have found that their emergency buttons were disengaged. In other words, if something went wrong where they were in their office, they would press a button to signal security, you know, the, the federal agents or uh, wow. Capitol Police or whatever, they were disengaged, which meant they were disabled. They weren't able disabled. To they were they were disabled. They were they were right, which means it's an inside job that was pre-planned, mm -hmm. and the FBI, Secret Service, whatever, uh, and Nancy Pelosi and Congress as a whole. It is still under investigation, and they have arrested many people now, and they and many others of higher importance, like people that are already congressmen yeah. and, or congresswomen, are going to be investigated and are under suspicion. Hmm. And there will be a big shakedown in Washington because of what happened with the insurrection. The the invasion by these um, uh, hooligans, and uh, it will happen. So there's a lot to be. There's a lot, uh, a lot of action coming. Now the inauguration is on the twentieth, which is mm -hmm. early this week. Mm -hmm. Early this week, yes. the inauguration. They got, as you well know, it's like God knows how many tens of thousands. I think twenty-five thousand minimum. National Guard troops, uh, U.S. Army troops there because um, social media has tipped off the government that um, there will be a second attack. Uh, it's not a, a protest, a demonstration mm -hmm. protest. You know, they, they make it sound like it was a peaceful protest. No, no, no way. Okay. I love you. Go ahead. I'm oh, sorry. I was talking to my brother. Um, um, I just I don't get it with people. There's just I think peaceful protesting would be better. I think it would be better. Of course, it would be better. It's pretty. It's peaceful. That's what. 
Yeah. Uh, you, mean, not, you don't bring a, a military assault weapon to a peaceful protest. Yeah, unless you tend to hurt somebody with it. The flag is fine. Uh, mm -hmm. Holding up a sign is fine. Wearing a, a, a cap, wearing a, a pins on your you know jacket, whatever. It, these are all fine. But not bringing any weapon to a supposed peaceful protest. Now, there, here's my Sherlock Holmes observation connected to a question. You saw how many vast amounts of people were at this uh, invasion, the, this demonstration which led to an invasion. There was there was an enormous amount, thousands and thousands of people, Trump supporters there. You mean to tell me no one in Washington, D.C. saw them approaching marching in the direction of the Capitol building. No one saw anything suspicious. How did all these tens of thousands of people get to the steps of the Capitol building without anyone else in Washington, D.C. seeing this and reporting it to the D.C. police? Hmm. Call 911. Uh, Something something suspicious is going on. I see thousands and thousands of people wearing red MAGA hats with assault weapons, and they're all moving in one direction, and they're moving towards government buildings. Uh, something's wrong here. That would have been that would have been plenty of time. True that to get. The D.C. police, the blockade, the uh, get everybody, SWAT teams, National Guard, whatever, to block the roads before they even got anywhere near the Capitol building. But didn't anybody see this? I mean, it's not hard to spot. A whole uh, bunch of people. Tens, <laughs> yeah, tens of thousands of individuals with, with guns especially wearing red hats, carrying the Confederate flag, uh, carrying uh, perhaps neo-Nazi flag. It, it's not difficult to spot that. Nobody, no, spot, nobody spotted that ahead of time. Mm -hmm. this well, I mean, I mean, if I was a civilian and, and, and I was walking on the streets, that would, that would be easily to spot because there's flags while you're walking with your hand, you're you're having the flag up in the air. It's not that hard yeah. to find a flag. <laughs> you see the flag, and, and you I see. Mean, I mean, you would you would consider that suspicious activity? Yes, as long well, I do, but I would make sure. But I would also see if they're going to be peaceful. But the minute they actually storm the Capitol, meaning go up the steps, uh, that's a problem. But yeah. if they stay away from the steps and just walk around the Capitol and, and, and protest, go back and forth, that's fine. Uh, but if them going into the steps, towards the steps, that's a problem uh, because they're basically going into the building, not staying away from the steps. Uh, it's, well, okay. it's okay to be on the bottom of the steps going back and forth. Plus, most of them were carrying firearms and, and assault weapons. That's another problem. That's, yeah. that's suspicious activity right there. Yeah, that's another problem. Well, someone probably did say it was okay then. I don't know why. Uh, I, it's just stupid. It's just really mysterious because ever since 9-11, they always tell American citizens, if you see any suspicious activity, any like 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 unmarked vehicles like a van with, with the windows blackened out, that, that's where the people don't get out of the vehicle and like they're scoping out the area. Right. But he's getting out. That's suspicious. If somebody leaves, if somebody abandons a package or, or a briefcase or something like that and just leaves it and walks away, big, big red flag. I mean, you hope it's not a bomb, but it's a very good, good chance that it is. It could be anything. It could be, it could be poison gas. It could be a bomb. I mean, uh, you know, suspicious. Nobody abandons 
a, um, a briefcase or a, or a shopping bag or a suitcase. Nobody just abandons it. So, you know, we're taught how to recognize suspicious activity and mm. how these people with assault weapons got that close to the Capitol building is beyond me. Well, the way I see it, I think it was friend. I think it was somebody that was friends with those people that were in the Capitol building that let them go. Well, well, some of the cops, some of the Capitol police, opened the door and waved them on in. Well, that's a problem. You know that 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 is a that is a that is a problem here. Yeah, who's this? Ethan. Oh, I recognize him, Ethan Leggett. If it smells like a rat, it probably is one. That's right. If it looks, walks, and sounds like a duck. <coughs> It's a Peking duck ready for the roaster pan. That yeah, is I, right. He's right. It's stupid. And the way I see it, I'm trying to think here. Um, it's just that you, you shouldn't be going to the Capitol and doing things. Now, Donald Trump, I do not believe that he would say, hey, go cause war. I think he might have said go and have peaceful demonstrations. But I don't believe he went there with gun. I don't believe he told them to go with gun. Well, Gi Giuliani says combat. The only answer is combat. You use the word combat. Oh, meaning a yeah, I mean, meaning combat. Oh. <laughs> you know, and then the other guys talking about taking down names and kicking ass the uh, uh, Republican congressman that he's like, you know, I mean, uh, cheers, cheers. Uh, on another, on another uh, note. No, no. We're, th this is a multi-topic show, Ethan. Anything yeah. goes. Any yeah. subject goes. We're, we're going we're gonna to get into other stuff. You know, uh, if, if Alex wants to review a beer or somebody else wants to review a beer, like, uh, like you know, me, I brought the rum. You know, I mean, it's, it's, there's no time limit. There's no... Um, there's no rules. It's uncensored, and anything goes. Open topic show. So uh, you know. And what is going on? I mean, as of right now, unless I'm not the, unless I'm not here, uh, as of right now, we will be doing this on Sundays. Uh, as of right now. Yeah. Um, well, yeah. I did. I did do a show Friday night, and well, uh, you still do that. I know you still do that. I've seen that. Yeah, I got. I got. I had uh, Nina Yorty from Rhode Island. And I had uh, Ronnie S., Ronnie Simpson from Clearwater, Florida. So the three of us did the show. I sent the link out to other people, but they didn't come on. And, uh, uh, you know, uh, I know we had a good panel um, last Sunday. We had a yeah, panel. it was Facebook. On, no, it was Facebook. Yeah, we were on Facebook. That's we were on, we're on Facebook, but you know what? I was thinking, can you invite um, the other two in if you want? Uh, the other two that uh, that well, you that you brought in the other day, uh, oh, Salvatore. I sent a link. Okay, I sent a link to Salvatore on Alpha Males and to okay. uh, Nick Von Raven and uh, uh, yeah, it's they they it's can okay. come, they okay. can come aboard. They can hop aboard on on YouTube. You know, uh, anybody who wants to. Jump aboard. I mean, I could put the link on the private chat of this show if they want to join, you know, and they want to uh, participate. If they, oh, if they, oh, you're saying if they came in the basement and they see the link, they could, okay, yeah, in private chat, like I can do it, like I can do it right now. So that's in private chat, yeah. Um, what was I gonna say now? Like you know, so th there's going to be. A lot going on this week. It's going. Not only do we have the pandemic, pandemonium, winter of 2021, but we have a nation in, in crisis, reason. political mm -hmm. crisis, economic crisis. It's it's chaos. Remember, I don't know if you remember Get Smart, the old show. The, I've the, heard of that. Yeah, the, the, the evil agents were part of chaos, and they had the vulture as their uh, logo. It's chaotic. It's definitely chaos. The good news is by the end of this month, the end of this month, there'll be a total of five um, vaccines from five different pharmaceutical companies. Awesome. So yeah. that is that is what we need because having two drug companies is not enough. Maybe even six or seven. Uh, well, you got now, all right, so far we got... Uh, Pfizer and Moderna, 
Mm-hmm. That's and number two. It's going to be, it's gonna be uh, Johnson & Johnson, which is only one injection, not two. Only one injection. It's Johnson & Johnson. And then there is Oxford AstraZeneca. Okay, that's four. And then there's another one. Uh, I think it's called Vaxon or Vax. I don't know. It's, I can't. I don't remember the word. I never heard of it. I never heard of it. Never heard of it either. <laughs> I mean, I've heard of Hoffman La Roche. I've heard of Merck. I've never heard of this. This. Uh, the fifth one, but they they're in clinical uh, stage three clinical mm. trials. Nice. Okay, but if all of them are s- successful with the FDA panel, if their findings are good, we'll, we'll have five. I would say. Uh, what do we got here? Let me see. Let me see. Mm. Oh yeah, he was. Yeah, Get Smart was funny. It was the shows of the past were hilarious. They also made a movie on that too. Yes, they did. Yes, they remember the cone of silence when uh, Maxwell Smart said to the t- chief, "Chief, it's time for the cone of silence." He goes, "Oh, chief says, oh no, not the cone of silence." Oh no, and then what happened was the cone of silence came down. And and Max would talk, and the chief chief would say, "What would you say?" They couldn't hear each other. Oh, because he put the code of silence down. That's why. That's funny. Yeah, it was like a tube that came down over each one, but it was defective. They, <laughs> the cone of silence. They couldn't hear e- each other talk. Well, then, yeah, but that that's why. Then, yeah, the cone of silence was defective because you couldn't hear anything. That's why it's called the cone of silence. You put the cone on top of you. And you can't hear nothing. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Did, did, you mean Sean Connery's James Bond? They they had something similar. They had something similar. I remember all those shows, Mission Impossible, where where the the recording used to self destruct, used to blow up. Oh yeah, I've seen that. Hawaii yeah. Five O. Uh, uh, um, yeah, Book of Dano. They, what's his name? Jack Lord's hair. Yeah, that moved in in, in the all that. Wind in Hawaii it never moved. No, but they, and they had some great theme songs. You know, it uh, was a good song. Um, I also watched uh, Santa Tour's um little video that he sent out a couple an hour ago, and I watched it. It was on one of uh, the Facebook uh, Messenger, and the lady said that Donald Trump's not going to be president on the twenty um, on the twentieth of two thousand twenty one. But he'll, but she'll be, but he'll be the nineteenth president. Well, I'm confused. In on March fourth, I don't get that. I'm, I'm very confused. A uh, uh, wannabe psychic or something? No, uh, I don't know. Uh, where's my phone at? Okay, I'm not gonna play it because I don't I don't want to uh, cause problems. Uh, but I will take a look at it and show you what I'm talking about. <clears throat> oh, this is not it. Uh, this is it right here. This lady right here in their chair. See? Oh, wow. Yeah, I think it's, I don't know who it was. I think it's Santa Tor. I don't know. It looks, I don't know. I don't know. Oh, yeah, Dragnet. Just the facts, ma'am. Only the facts. Was that Jack Webb and his friend was Friday, right? Oh, yeah. TV Land, yeah, TV Land. Yeah, they play all the reruns. You know what's funny? The Partridge Family. I don't honestly. I don't think they played those musical instruments. I think they faked it, and they they might have lip synced. I think David Cassidy was the only talent oh. in that family. Yeah, the rest of them just went fa la 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 la. You know, it was really. I, I'm gonna mention. I'm gonna mention one of the funniest series going. Okay. The old Batman series. I've seen that. With Adam West. Let me tell you, all the guest villains, they were all superstars. Just like the Twilight Zone had all the young superstars you can think of were guests on the Twilight Zone. I like the, yeah. I like the Batman when you when you when you, when they go punching somebody, you see the bam, bam, bam. You remember 
Milton Berle played Louis the Lilac. That was so hilarious. I haven't seen that show in years. Yeah. I don't know. Holy Batmobile. Yeah, and he had, remember the Batman movie where the Penguin, the Joker, and the Riddler were in the Penguin submarine? And um, it was like a penguin, I guess. And Batman and Robin were being rescued by a helicopter. They were in the ocean. And they were mm. trying to climb the ladder. And this, this fake rubber shark grabbed Batman's ankle and was hanging from his leg. And you could see it was a, it was a fake rubber shark. What, what a low-budget show that was. You know? And then when they climbed the bat rope up the building, you know they were walking flat they, they weren't going up vertical they no because they, they, they had to make it look like it that they were walking up the building they had to make it look like because that's what uh that's what technology is i mean did, did you know caesar romero the stubborn arrogant guy he was he refused to shave his mustache off for the mm. series because mm. it's easier to put makeup on no mustache he won't shave it off and they 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 went with it and they put the makeup over his mustache. And uh, Vincent Price played Egghead. <laughs> I'm telling you, all stars. And um, of course, you had Bruce Lee as Cato, you know, the Green Hornet, Cato. Bruce Lee, yes. Uh, yeah, Mickey, yeah, a Burgess Meredith. Uh, Mickey from the Rocky movies, yes, that was the Penguin. And um, he sounded like a, like a, like a duck. I don't know why he went quack, quack, quack. Uh, um, uh, the, the Riddler was played by uh, Frank Gorshin and John Astin, who was Gomez Adams in the Adams family. Mm. Okay. Batwoman, no, Catwoman was played by Julie Newmar, Eartha Kitt, and Lee Merriweather, who was Barnaby Jones' the secretary. In Barnaby Jones, and she was also Miss America at one time. Wow. Yeah, there was a lot of stars, man, a lot of stars. And I want your opinion on something, James, uh, even though this has nothing to do with the shows. I want to get into the shows, too. Yeah. Um, when we have all these vaccines, I think eventually, I'm hoping, we'll go back to the old normal. I really hope. And well, That's the only way we're, we're going to attain uh, herd immunity. You know, these people, <clears throat> these... Uh, gun nuts down south i used to do i used to do a show with one of them as my co-host and that will i didn't know it. he he kept on saying he was progressive but he he wasn't he wasn't really and he he didn't believe in social distancing he didn't believe in wearing masks he kept on talk, saying it's against our constitutional rights the government wants to take away our freedom I, I got news for you. You don't have, if you're a chain smoker, you don't have the freedom to blow cigarette smoke in somebody else's face. Well, that's nasty. And you don't have the right to blow your respiratory droplets and aerosol from your mouth and infect other people. It's the same thing. This guy, he pretended to be progressive. So he... Uh, uh, you know, they always think the government is going to take their guns away, and it never, it never happens. You yeah, know? The government may threaten, but they never do it, as of right now. No, you sh you're supposed to legally get a permit. Yeah, that's true. That you should do that. Like I said earlier in the in the other shows, in the other show, right. I, you have to have papers when you come into America. Yeah, you go, you know, you, you go through gun safety courses and you learn the do, the do's and don'ts and uh, yeah. they're not a boy and all that crazy stuff. Yeah. And okay. uh, yeah, Star Trek was another very entertaining, low budget sci fi TV series. And uh, did you know they couldn't stand William Shatner? William Shatner tried to hog the camera all the time. Well, he seemed to do that. I watched the show a couple. Yeah, times. he used to jump in front, you know, like if if another, if Sulu, or Chekhov, or any of the other actors or, or actresses, uh, um, uh, Uhura, that tried to uh, have more lines than he wanted them to have, mm. 
William Shatner had to have most of the lines in the series. <laughs> I mean, yeah, he's, and you could tell he's an attention whore even today in, in his old age. Wow. Yeah, in his old age. You could tell. You could tell. Well, that. again, I appreciate you talking to me, James, because I like to, I like William Shatner. I like all this, this craziness, but, uh, like I said, I'm looking forward to not hearing about the pandemic anymore. That is for sure. Well, we we finished. We 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 finished. There's no sense of being redundant and going on and on and on and on. So, no, no, it's never do you. I'm saying I can't wait for, not to hear it ever no, again. We we basically we basically said what we need to say. I I, I got my new masks from Amazon Prime. Very thick, uh, three three ply material. Mm -hmm. Applies very soft and comfortable, and very breathable. I could breathe through. It. I did hear that on your on your thing. And another thing, you said something about some guy. I don't. Is he okay though? Because you said he doesn't believe in social distancing like me. And, and I don't know. I haven't spoken to him in a long time. But uh, how can you be a pro a progressive, a left winger, and 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 sound so right wing? Uh, oh, wow. Mystery to me. He was being, uh, to me, he was being a hypocrite. But uh, yeah, what, what the reason why we stopped talking is, well, he stopped talking to me because I, he doesn't like to be disagreed with. He he, he insists on being right all the time. He's, he's one of those people. And well, I, 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 it yeah, is what it is. I was against uh, Governor DeSantis of Florida's decision to um, not have any uh, um, uh, occupancy restriction in any business in Florida, including bars, mm -hmm. restaurants, bars. He wanted full capacity. If you have a bar or restaurant, you're allowed to have as many customers as you want because he wanted herd immunity without the vaccine. And you know what happens when you do that? You have you have hundreds of thousands, if not millions, die of innocent people die that have, uh, you know, a uh, pre-existing illness or whatever. They're elderly. So we had the, we had a dispute about that. I said it was, oh, okay. it was like Russian roulette. <laughs> and, you know, and he was insisting about oh, our constitutional rights. I says, constitution, I said, you know what, you know what's most important? survival first of all in my opinion we still have our rights we just have to be careful until this pandemic is completely over that's all yeah and we have to get it under control right you know we can't the most important thing is that the hospitals yeah. should, never, should never be overwhelmed like they were months ago yes well right now los angeles county is running out of space holy crap they're running out of beds they're running out of room <laughs> Wow. That's how that's how bad Los Angeles County is getting. I don't know how it got that way. It it wasn't, you know, they have a good governor. Don't ask me how, but they have surpassed the rest of the country. I thought here Texas was going to be the worst, Florida was going to be the worst, New Jersey, all that. Well, no, well, the Northeast is pretty strict. You got to admit Governor Murphy and and Andrew Cuomo they they're pretty they're pretty strict. They 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 don't mess around up here, and 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 the people the people are smart enough to follow the rules, the protocol. You know, but I'm going to show the folks something. All right. All right. Oh, and another another note is I don't hear Governor Murphy anymore. He like just appeared off of the TV. Oh yeah, what ha what happened? He used to be on. Uh, on on um, on the local news uh, every day, uh, uh, like around noon. Well, I think he comes on on Mondays though, maybe once in a while on a Monday, but he don't come yeah. on every day. Yeah, because maybe maybe they're tired of being redundant. They're What's tired, they're tired of being redundant? Oh yeah, to say the least, he had quite an ego. Oh yeah. What's that mean, redundant? What's that redundant mean? Redundant is when you keep repeating the same things over and over and you start boring people. 
It's like yeah. me, me saying, uh, telling you what I had for dinner like about a dozen times today, like repeating myself over and over. Hey, hey Alex, uh, uh, you know, what I had for dinner was this, that, and the other thing. And then 10 minutes later, oh, Alex, you know what I had for dinner today? This, that, and the other thing. That would so be even though he's saying new stuff every day, it doesn't matter. It's still somewhat the same stuff, regardless. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't want. There's no sense of rehashing the same things. You know, I think once. I think once a week. I think Monday. Is is a good opportunity to recap last week, to do a, an upgrade and a recap and give plans for this week for the new week yeah okay now everybody men and women they sh they use a razor they, yeah. shave. Mm -hmm. they shave now mm -hmm. this was these were given to me uh, for christmas i i use the old-fashioned wilkinson sword that's the same with me i like to i like to shave my face with those things that you have in your hand yeah now you know you can sharpen your razor blade mm -hmm. after it gets dull over and over and over and, over. and you know how easy it is i'll show you and it works it works you take the you take an old pair of denim jeans blue jeans you take the bottom and you know you you actually you lie it flat let's say on your bed i just i'm doing this because of the camera okay you take the razor and you go away from it. You go up. Over. Hold on. Let me try to make it flat. You could you don't you have something that you can like you know put lay down? Okay, here you go. No, pretend pretend this is on the bed flat. Okay. I have to do it vertical because of the, the camera. Right. Yeah, I want to show people. And you go away away from away from you. Not this way, away from me, and you press down. And I do it, I did it about 21 times. See? And it sharpens it like it was brand new razor. And but you know, you you put a little elbow grease into it when it's when it's when it's lying flat on the bed, you know, you wow, you you push down. Okay, like that. see, go away from you. It sharpens like a brand new razor. That's crazy, but how do you clean it though? Because obviously there's a lot of hair. And... Well, you you can you rinse it, and well, this is difficult to clean compared to the old-fashioned razor. But you you know you can bang it on the porcelain, you know, in the sink. You know, you got to. You gotta be gentle when you tap it. Cause I, I used to whack it, and I would break, I would break this in half. Wow! Or 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 make little dents in your sink, or a little paint chip right. in your sink. All right, now I'm gonna show you what I normally use because I get it from the dollar store. I get the Wilkinson sword blades, and I get, I even get the shaver itself. Let me, let me, let me, let me show you. If you want to tell the folks, want to tell the folks a little bit about your last food show, you know. Yeah, sure. Um, my last food show was the um, what's it called? Soups, it was soup and beer. It was pretty good. I'm actually looking forward to this Friday. We're gonna have macaroni and cheese and whatever drink you want to bring. Um, so that's what I'm doing on my channel as Alex, the beer master, and. Uh, I actually have a new thing here. <clears throat> As you can see, this is for my new stuff, Alex, the beer master. Then, then there's a little cup holder I could put my stuff in right here. Right here. This little circle here. Yeah. So I'm looking forward to doing that. I've already did a review with this. My uncle made this. So that is pretty pretty darn cool so, all righty let's just show well the Lord's day james is back and let's see what he has to show today okay now uh, all right now 
These I get from the dollar dollar zone. I get the old fashioned Wilkinson sword blades. There's five to a pack, and there's a razor on each side, on both sides. And then I get the shaver also from the dollar zone, the old fashioned mm. shaver. And these are really sharp and they give a really great close shave. And you figure, okay, five blades means that you have 10 sides, you have 10 edges. And then I just use this and they give you some complimentary, where is it, complimentary blades. And that's it, it's made of stainless steel. Oh, I remember those old blades. My dad used to have one of them. You open them up, you take the bottom and you twist it, and the thing opens up in the middle, and you put the blade in the middle. I I recognize that. That looks familiar to me. That that metal stuff you just showed me kind of has an opening to it, you know. And you put the blade in it, and then you. Yeah, I think that's what you're doing, right? Yeah, yeah. It opens up like uh, it just opens right up. It's stainless steel. Well, so you so they, so they do make those things. I thought they didn't make them anymore. And I bought I bought a whole bunch. I, bought, I must have got over over half a dozen of them. They're a dollar each. And and I probably in my lifetime, most likely I would I would never get through two of them probably in my whole life. You know, wow. so I'm just you know giving some consumer tips to the people out there. Um, and, uh, it works out pretty good. Um, just like we were given cooking tips, um, uh, two weeks ago uh, on a, no, was it, no, wait a minute. Do we get cooking tips on, on Sunday show or Friday show? I wasn't on the Friday show. I was always, I started the Sunday show, which is this past oh, week. Yeah. Okay. So, so the Sunday show, we were given a lot of cooking tips. Yeah. But unfortunately, I can't go back and watch it unless I go to Facebook. <laughs> yeah, well, I am going to. Yeah, I'm. Oh, well, I put it on your profile, I think. On my profile? I think I put it on your Facebook profile. Uh, I can take a look. Yeah, the the show, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, let's see here. I go to Facebook. Uh, I don't see it. I just see. Uh, I see these pictures. Yes, scroll down and see if it comes up. <clears throat> okay. I'm if not, maybe maybe I think I did. Keep going down? Yeah, just keep scrolling downward. Okay. And see if you see if it pops up. Oh, do you want me to hit this, this, the red things? Because that's the people, and then there's the bell. Is that what you're talking about? No, no. You go to you go to Alex's profile. You go right to your profile. Oh, go to my profile. Okay, here we go. Um, and then just scroll down. I see, uh, I see my pictures. I see, uh. My profile right here, mm -hmm. but then I scroll down. Okay, scroll down. Okay. Um, I said it says edit uh, public or whatever it is. Uh, add friends, find friends, see all friends, message pictures, messenger pictures. No, not what I want. Let's see here. No, not here. Nah, I'll send it again. I don't see it. Maybe I'm blind. You never know. You, 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 you won't miss it really, because you'll see you'll see an image of you and me. That's what I'm saying. It shouldn't be that hard to find. No, no. Well, if you scroll, if you scroll down that far. Then and you don't see it, but maybe I thought I sent it to you. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know either. Anyway, uh, I was discussing with uh, Friday with uh, Nina Yorty about the fact that 
this year, I have been getting bombarded with scam phone calls. Well, yeah, that's what anything for Trevor. Yeah. Now, the good thing is that my Android phone tells me if it's a scam phone call. If it's yes, a it don't issue. Right. Right. And then I don't pick it up. Now, another sneaky form of scam is if you're online and you you see advertisements for apps different okay. you know different app programs right True. and it says free okay and you think it's free so you click on it and you use it for a little while a little bit and then you realize it it doesn't really do all the things that it claims to do it they're like they're, they're lying to you about what you're getting with the app and in order for to get it to really work for you you have to spend money on the upgraded professional version so sure. in other words it's it's a bait and switch yeah of course it's like if you go to an appliance let's say you go to an appliance store let's say you go to best buy because you saw an advertisement and you asked for the advertised product and they say, Oh, we didn't get the shipment in yet, but we'll show you the something else that's even better. And of course, some, the something else is a lot more money. I'm not, I'm not saying that Best Buy does this, but other companies does. have they done do. it. It's mm -hmm. called bait, bait and switch. So the same thing, is going is applied to uh, software, to apps for your phone, your computer, where they they lie to you, and you think what you're getting is free, and it's not. It's mm. not free at all. So uh, you're saying some of the stuff is free, but in reality, if you want more stuff, you would have to upgrade. Yeah. Now, there are there are some apps that honestly are free. Okay. The only thing is they shove advertisement in front of you as you're using it, and you have to close out the advertisement. You know, hopefully it'll have an X. Now, what I don't like is when they shove advertisement in front of your face and you can't get rid of it. Yeah, so I hear now, that. now what you have to do is you have to reboot your phone. You have to restart, restart your phone. You have to shut down because they will not let you navigate to another page until you until you play that advertisement. Wow. Yeah, it's like it's like it, it's, they're obnoxious. They're obnoxiously forcing their advertisement down your throat, and they're not giving you the option to navigate away from it. You know, so that's a, a, a part of Chisler's Hall of Shame. Now, if you notice, I don't know if you know, but I have a lot of Google reviews of places I've been to. So I put, I posted two of my reviews on YouTube. On on no, on the uh, on the Everything Is Food uh, Facebook group. I need to go on there. Then I've gone on there, but hey, you know what? Let me go on there now and see what it's all about. But I don't want to watch it. Watch it now because. Is no, it it's not a video. It's it's not a video. It's a it's a it's an um like an article, like a blog. Oh, okay. Okay. You know, they're they're based on a couple places I I went to, and uh, the owners do read the reviews. Nice. They do, which is nice because if they're doing something wrong, and you're exposing it, they see it, and they, and they fix it right away if they if they care. If they care now, but when I do a review, I go through everything with a fine tooth comb. Okay, mm. I review. I reveal everything mm. because I think that a business owner that eliminates problems ahead of time, true that, will prevent other customers from experiencing the same thing or seeing the same thing.
And that means they're a good business owner, too, when they fix the problem once they realize. Yeah, well, well they should have an open mind. If, if, they, if they have a company where they're serving the public, they should have an open mind towards what's going on. Um, like, in other words, if you have a restaurant, okay, don't, don't be stingy and greedy and give people tiny portions uh, to try to increase your profits because people are not stupid. They can notice that. Yeah. And they'll go somewhere else. Hmm. Yeah, they'll simply go somewhere else. And then you'll lose your business. <laughs> yeah, and then, well, well, especially now with, you know, with the situation with social distancing, uh, it's, you know, it's really tough on restaurants. Uh, the good thing about restaurants is you have all these food delivery, yeah. all the food delivery people, uh, the Grubhub, the DoorDash, you know, uh, Uber Eats. Uh, you, that? you know, now you have a, a, an app that deals just with pizzerias called Slice. Hmm. Yeah, you got Q, Q menu. Uh, yeah, it's really, um, it, well, it has to be that way because how, uh, how else are they going to survive without food deliveries? Right, so that's why they have the, well, they have, uh, they've always had these new apps prior to the pandemic. You mean, you, you mean way before the pandemic started? Yes. But they just more they're just more active now because of the pandemic. That's all. Oh, okay. I think that, but I think they existed before. I think. Because I think DoorDash existed and, and and Uber Eats and Grubhub and uh, Yeah, I think so. I think they were in the beginning stages or next year in the past two or three years or something, wherever how long they've been. I don't know. So but it's still cool, even even if people don't want to go out, even without the pandemic situation, uh, you still have that option. <laughs> well, I sometimes I, I order liquor and beer from an app called Drizzly. Mm. It, it looks they got a, uh, an image of a grizzly bear and uh, it's called Drizzly. And, you know, for like about six bucks uh shipping they'll, they'll they'll deliver right to your house very strange because i thought new jersey was very strict i'm confused oh no no you you know you set up an account with drizzly and you you pick what you want you search search what you want and then you you make the transaction they deliver it uh, yeah, but I, you know, I thought New Jersey was very strict about that now. Uh, they probably were at one point, maybe. Maybe they're less strict now. I didn't know you can order beer and have it sent to your house. I thought you had to be a distributor to do that. Oh, no, uh, no. They're, well, they, they deliver it from a retail store. Oh. It, it's not coming from a wholesale uh, warehouse. It's coming, it's coming from, I wish it did come from a wholesale warehouse. Why but, do you wish that? Cheaper. Oh. Wow. <laughs> um, what kind of beers can you get in Drizzly? Drizzly. Anything. Anything. Any craft beer, any ale, any any stout, any porter, macros, uh, uh, craft. It doesn't matter. IPAs. Can you get Treehouse and Trillium? If you if you do a search and 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 they find it for you. I wonder if they could though. They probably can't because you have to go. To New Hampshire and stuff like that, though, to get yeah, that. It might, be, it might be a local. I think the local liquor stores up in New England most likely carry beers from local breweries. Yes, just like they have here in New Jersey. Right, right. Like, like I mean, you'll get you'll get like uh, you get famous craft beers like Sierra Nevada, you know, Dogfish. Hmm. Uh, um, what's the one? Great Lakes. Oh yeah. You know you get the you get the famous ones, the big ones. You know what? Uh, I never drank the beer with you, or never drank anything with you. So I'm thinking, even though I'm going to work at ten thirty in the morning, that's ten thirty tomorrow morning, not now. So I might try one of these beers with you. But he's actually not a beer though. <coughs> 
This is actually this right here. What do you got there? Hold on. Let me give you a, a, a full screen. You got Duffo. No, you got Schaffer. Sh Schaffer. Heifer. Heifer? Heifer Bison. You got it. Yeah, right. Heifer Bison. Mm -hmm. oh, that looks and nice. Schaffer, so Schaffer, Heifer Bison, and I, I don't know what this uh, writing is. Right here with the put the uh oh pomegranate pomegranate yep oh that looks good man that's so it's German it's German wheat beer with pomegranate right I'm gonna see what it tastes like with you you know it's the first time I've drank with you I think I don't think I drank the beer with you did I I don't remember I do not think I did oh no, you you've shown you've shown cans and bottles but I don't think you've actually uh, Drink a beer with you now. I might have did that during a maybe a uh, I uh, what's it called? Those things called um one of those uh, wild cork Wednesdays or something. But I don't think I've actually physically drink a beer with you on your channel. No, or whatever this is. I don't even know if this is a beer. I don't know why I say. Yeah, I'm gonna put. I'm gonna put you full screen, and then. Oh. Oh, okay. All right. Well, James will be back in a few minutes. So I'm going to be pouring this to drink. Mmm. Smells. Smells like a wine kind of base beer. Sweet. I think I've had pomegranate before. I think pomegranate, I think there's a flower. I'm not sure. When legendary James gets back, maybe he could uh, shut some light on that. I think pomegranate is a flower. I'm not sure. Uh, I'm back. Okay. So. Okay, go ahead. Uh, taste it and tell us what you think. All right. Uh, James, would you explain about the pomegranate? Is that a flower, I believe? Or I don't remember. Oh, it's a it's a fruit. It's an ancient fruit. Ancient fruit from Asia. It's very red. Mm. It has it has a tart flavor and it, and it's a powerful antioxidant. It's it's very good for you. This is good for you? Thanks, James. Pomegranate. Pomegranate. Yeah, sure. not with the alcohol itself, but it is good for you, even if there is alcohol, but this is really good for you, yeah, the pomegranate part of it. Let's see what this tastes like. But before I do that, there's a, a one finger head. Yeah, I think this is kind of like a wine flavor beer. I'm not really sure. Uh, but yeah, I've never had these beers before, at least never had this company before. I've had some of these beers before. Or I call them beers, but I don't know. Let's see what these taste like. Cheers. Mm. Cheers to you. Wow, that that fruit. I think. I mean, James said it's sour or not sour, uh, very tart. But tart. actually, not. It's not very tart. Um, very, very sweet. I mean, um, I think James is correct on it. That probably is tart, but it's not. Uh, to me, uh, maybe there's a sweet version of this. Um, I really don't know, but this could be a good dessert beer. What do you think about that, James? Do you do you think that that might be a, a refreshing beer for uh, the summer months, the hot weather? I would have to say, yes, yes, indeed. And speaking of uh, hot weather, let's see what the rating. Let's see what the uh, ABV is on this, buddy. Uh, hmm. I don't even know if they have an ABV on here. It says it's beer with pomegranate. Yeah, you know what? Oh, oh, oh! Wait a minute! Wait a minute! We got we got a winner here. Um, it's beer with pomegranate juice. Ah. I can't. I can't. I wish we. Uh, That's good. I think it says juice because it says J U I C E. Juice. Juice. Yeah. So, yeah. I, 
So, so wheat beer with pomegranate juice. It's got oh. a nice, nice reddish pomegranate color to it. That's perfect. I, I would like, you know, I'd like to do a review with you one day. That's okay. It's very, um, I noticed that not all wheat beers, but some wheat beers, especially the German ones, well, I think this very, is a very refreshing summer uh, beer, uh, you know, for the hot weather. I mean, uh, I've had uh, the ones from Germany are my favorite wheat beers. Not well, the American ones. Well, you said it's uh, you said it's ones in Germany. Well, this is a German beer. So yeah, might come your favorite. Never know. I guess we'll find out the next round if you get it yourself and we review it. I mean, I hope I get this again. And I have you get it, and I can't get it. I'll be very mad. I'll be like waste of money. Well, waste of your money, and then I'll feel guilty. <laughs> Although you can always get a single. <laughs> I will keep my eyes open for that particular uh, beer because I love. I love uh, tart uh, fruit juices like pomegranate and cranberries and things of that nature. This is and not tart at all. It's not tart. Mm. It, it's not might, I mean, it has a dryness to it, like a wine. It makes you want to go back for more, but... It's not going to make you pucker. No, I'm saying you'd think you'd think you said tart, but this doesn't seem like a tart one. I'm surprised. Right, but you're right, James. When it when you drink it, it it, it feels like a summer day. Yeah. It's very very thirst quenching, very refreshing. Wow. That is amazing. Mm. I'm gonna have to get more of this next weekend. Yeah, I mean there are not every but not everyone likes wheat beers, but I like I like the old world wheat beers. Yeah, I don't know if this is old world because it's not it doesn't taste fart. So I don't know if you're gonna like this. Well, I've had German wheat beers before and they were great. Was it tart or sweet? No, th there was no fruit in it. It was just German. Oh. Wheat beer. It was just plain old wheat beer, but oh, the original wheat beers. Okay, not fruit wheat. Okay. Yeah, there was no fruit in it, but but pomegranate is is a great fruit. I mean, it it it, it, it has a nice. It's not overly sweet. It's it's a tart fruit, uh, like cranberries. You know, like cranberries. Um, but is it just me then? Because this doesn't seem tart to me. Yeah, kiwi is another tart. Uh, <laughs> Tart fruit. You know what I think they did? They put sugar in this, I bet you. They had to. Yeah. You it, it was a tart beer, but this doesn't taste tart to me. Okay. Where are these jabronis? Where the hell is everybody? Well, everybody's in Trisha's place. That's where right. are they? Yeah, but I was, I was trying to, I wanted your other friends to come on. Because that was cool. Oh. I sent I sent them the link. They're uh, they're very they're very they're like the weather. They're very unpredictable jabronis. Uh, I bet you if we had uh, on Facebook, they would join. I guarantee it. Yeah, I was thinking maybe uh, Chef Salvatore Mercurio would come. Uh, you know, so, uh, he was a lot of fun. Yeah, he was cool. He's cool. He's the one that wants to come here. Uh, so, uh, uh, Jeff Zambello. I sent him the link. I, you know, but yeah, you know what? I could never be a psychologist. I would, I would lose my mind. I, I could never, I can never understand human behavior. Yeah, well, if, like I said, if I wasn't feeling good, I would say to you, let's do it next Sunday or something. Yeah, I wouldn't just stick. You know, you know. You know, maybe not answer you or talk to you. Or that was me that said, "Join, do this again." Yeah. But you, you don't have to be when you're on a live show. You're you're in the comforts of home, and uh, you don't have to be all effervescent and enthusiastic and bubbly like <laughs> "Happy New Year." You know, I mean, you could be you could be laid back. You could be uh, subdued. And that's what I am. I re I'm bubbly at times. I'm I'm relaxed at times. It all depends on the situation. 
Now, you know, I just want to talk about Go ahead. This is your food, food that um, sometimes has melted cheese placed on it. True that. It could be broccoli with melted cheese. It could be, uh, I think, scalloped potatoes has melted cheese on it. Mm -hmm. It could be macaroni, uh, you know, elbow macaroni with melted cheese. But I tell you one thing, I have to have, I'm real fussy, I have to have real cheese. I don't want no cheese whiz, no Velveeta, uh, no American. I want, if you if you want to put a cheese that melts, mm -hmm. it's got to be real cheese. Like when I, when I ordered Phil, a Philadelphia Philly cheesesteak sandwich, I told them, I don't want no American. I don't want no Velveeta. I want no cheese with You got mozzarella or provolone? Yeah, we got it. Go for it. If you got cheddar, I'll take I'll take cheddar. I'll take I'll take Monterey Jack. You know, uh, I've eaten a lot many exotic cheeses. Some of them expensive, some of them, you know, with the mold on it. Like I love the Brie and Camembert from France. The one, it's a wheel and it has the, the white mold on the outside. And then when that gets ripened, it gets stinky and soft. Mm -hmm. That's the perfect time to use it on crackers with wine as a spread. Oh. Yeah, like if you have a wheel of Brie. You just forget about it. Put it in the refrigerator and leave it alone. Eventually, it gets real soft with a strong aroma. Wow. It gets right. They call that ripened. It gets ripened. Mm. Now you got a beautiful, perfect spread for crackers. But it's the kind of ripened that you can eat and not be sick. No, you won't be sick from that. It's not the kind of mold that will sicken you. It's It actually makes it it makes it, it gives it a stronger flavor. And uh, it's perfect, like I said, for spreading on the cracker of your choice. And um, me, I like plain whole wheat crackers or multi-grain crackers, almost like a flatbread or uh, e even if it's whole wheat matzo, mm. matzo crackers, even if it's that. I plain, love matzo. Love it. Yeah. Whole wheat matzo is great. You know, you spread that cheese, that camembert or brie, and it is perfect with good wine. Mm. You know, and good wine to me, that's not expensive. Could be uh, yellowtail Shiraz or uh, uh, Cabernet Sauvignon or, or Pinot Noir by uh, Yellowtail uh, is a good company from Australia, uh, reasonably priced. Uh, um, uh, uh, Carlo Rossi White Zinfandel. I've seen that. Is very refreshing, uh, especially in the, during the warm weather. You keep a bottle of that in the back of your refrigerator, and you you let it get ice cold. It has it has like a strawberry flavor to it. Is it kind of like this? Yeah, it, yeah, it kind of like has that kind of a flavor. What else? Oh. Now the Germans have something called May wine, which, which has uh, strawberry juice in it. It's a white wine with strawberry and a herb called Woodruff. Woodruff. Mm, that is very refreshing. Yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm going to have to say the Germans do a great job on their beers, uh, uh, especially the flavor beers when they put in when they put special juice in it. Mm. That is just phenomenal. Yeah. But I also heard they drink stuff warm, Germans, like beer. Really? Uh, <laughs> even the beers they drink, like like the British uh, drink at room temperature. I don't know about the British, but I've heard that the Germans drink. Beer, warm temperature. I don't know if that's true or not, but that's what I heard. Mm -hmm. I know, I know they they make a lot of great white wines. A lot of great beers like this too. Yeah, um, 
What do you think? Uh, should I go fetch the mysterious, mystical divining rods? I think we should play that. You know, you read my mind. Pretty ask small. The, you can ask the divining rod some some interesting questions. Yeah, let's have a little fun with it. All right. Yeah. Let me go get the divining rods. I think the idea is divine. Oh, man. Yeah, we talked about that in the past, that we were going to do that. <laughs> Hell yeah. Cacksuckers. All these cack suckers. You know what kills me? These a lot of these a lot of these jabronis that I send the link to, you know. They don't they don't I know what they do in their spare time when they're not working. They they they, they really don't do anything meaningful. Oh, they, right. they would be they would be much better off on a live stream YouTube show than and diddly dicking around with whatever they normally do. Hmm. So, which makes them diddly dicks. Yeah, but they're your friends, though, buddy. <laughs> as far as I know. Well, you know, you gotta, you gotta accept the good and the bad, I guess, with everything, with relatives, with friends. <laughs> there's always something. There's, there's, always, there's always something, but, but you know, they normally... A lot of them are, are afraid to be on camera on, on, a, on a live stream recorded show. See, that's why what's, I, I admire people like you, Ronald Terrio, you know, some of them. Not all of them. I mean, I like Ron Terrio. He's cool beans, too. Yeah, but he's not afraid of the camera. He'll, he'll grab the, the bull by the corns, like Archie Bunker used to say. You know, some of these people, they'll, they'll come... They'll come on a live show once in a while, and other times they chicken out. You know. Well, I was—I would hate to admit this, but I'm going to admit it anyway. But I was one of those people too in the beginning. Now the only difference is I did cam up every time, but I didn't cam up with my face. I've always cammed up with my my um with my uh, avatar. Avatar. This was the beginning, though. But this is this was the beginning. Uh, of, the of, being, of being afraid. Well, look at you! Look at you now! You're like, you're like the the person with arachnophobia, afraid of spiders, and they put and the therapist puts the tarantula on on the person's arm, and eventually, they get desensitized for the that the tarantula is on their arm. Look! Look how far you came. Yeah, because now I'm messaging you saying, James, let's do another show and all that. <laughs> no, you do a great food show every Friday. Hail Alex 2021. Yes. All right. You know, the age of Aquarius is, I heard it's, it's becoming full force now. Oh, what's that? I don't know what Aquarius are. Like the sound, like the song from the fifth dimension. Oh. Each of the Aquarius is supposed to be like a big transformation of our universe and world. You know, for the better, it's supposed to be a change. Hmm. Like uh, the world, the universe, society is undergoing this big cleansing process. And yeah. maybe, maybe that, because of what happened, maybe the shit hitting the fan was when Trump 
allowed the pandemic to come to the United States and, and all these people who died. So okay. that could be it. All right, now, let me see. But what do you mean by that, though, James? I'm confused. I'm well, this song, it's an old song from the 60s. It's, it's a great song. No, it has to do with astrology. Oh. Astrology. Okay. Now, let me warm it up. Go Divine, ahead. Divining Rods, are you in the mood to join our live stream show? Yes. Okay. Okay. Um, will Will there be big trouble on January twentieth, two thousand twenty one, with the uh, Joe Biden inaugura inauguration? Yes. Uh oh. Uh, so what you're saying is the National Guard might be uh, involved in some sort of uh, uh, internal combat with, with uh, um, uh, violent protesters? Mm. You, you, you think the violent protesters will try to fire upon the uh, federal troops. Oh no, it's all yes, it's not good. Do you think so? The federal troops might have to uh, fill these uh, inbred wastes of sperm full of lead, they will get f f filled with lead. Oh my lordy, yes. Well, that's saying yes. If they're if they go backwards, they say no. Means no. If, yeah, they, they, go. if they go forward across, they say yes. Yeah, when they come together, it's a yes. And when they go apart, it's a no. Well, yeah, but they have to go backwards, right? They have to they go. Across. Well, they would they would go like that. Oh, they would go away from each other. Right. Okay, Alex, the beer master. All right. Uh, I'm not going to ask a stupid question, but we've discussed this before. But let's ask the uh, Ron Rods. Um, will I ever have a girlfriend? Yes. Okay. That's the answer there. <laughs> hmm. I don't want to ask stupid questions, but that's should, good. Should Alex, the beer master, wear a king's crown when he does his own shows? Oh, my God. <laughs> Thank you. Thank no. you. Thank you. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. That what oh, you, you think that's a bad idea? <laughs> you, you think that's a bad idea? I mean, it would be fun for a <laughs> It would be fun for once in a while because you had a crown at one point. It was, it goes all the way. You, I can't find the video anymore, but I can go all. It used to, I was able to go all the way back when Google Hangouts and you, you were talking about something and it was like, this is a real crown or something like that. Yeah, you know what happened? You know what happened to that crown? I, I it was in my car and I accidentally sat on it. But that's the same one. That was also the same picture, the same thing that I liked that was behind you. You sat on that too. I remember that. You told me that. You, I asked you that, and you, and you felt funny when I first met you. I asked you what happened to the little head that was next to you, and you felt funny why I was asking you. Well, I just was wondering because it was your style. <laughs> it was a yeah, different yeah. Oh, oh, and I I sat on that too. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You're wondering, wow. Yeah, because I've asked you and you felt funny because why is this guy well, asking you? Well, yeah. this one is a lot this one is a lot more durable than the other one. Yeah, I like that one, but I missed the other one because that was the, that was when I first met you. <laughs> that's the original James P. Madonna mask when I first met yeah, you. Not in other the mask was a replica of that. It was a uh, uh, Guy Fox from the uh, the movie uh, um, uh, V for Vendetta. 
Oh, oh, so it's a replica of that, but why does it look blue? Well, because that's like a neon light. Oh. It's like a neon light, yeah. Oh. Okay, so. Rand Rods, I think I got the name right. I hate when I say the wrong thing, but either way. Just say Rods. Rods, I'm curious. This is what James wants to know, too. I'm curious, where would I meet this girl? Well, you got to kind of narrow it down. Like, oh, oh, would I meet the girl in the store or in a, what's it called, in a store or in a... Um... Well, it's in a store. Okay, go ahead. Yeah. All right. So then you go, you try to, you try to narrow it down more. You you say, uh, well, I see. Well, I meet her in a shopping uh, store, like a shop, right? Or will I meet her in a hair salon? Or no, you're throwing too much info. Oh, oh, oh okay. Let's get one right. at a time. Okay. Um, will I meet her in a a shopping? Um, a shop right or something, then I'll ask. Yeah. Mm, yes. Okay. Is it possible? Will I meet a girl also in a hair salon? No. Okay. That's you go to a hair salon. You. you you don't well, have yeah, because I um I go to a hair salon because um that's where I go. I get my hair cut. Oh, okay. Yeah. So that's no as of this moment, but they can change their mind the next time I ask them. Right? That can well, happen. Uh, things change um, from day to day, you know. Yeah, so I can ask them a week or now and a week or two from now, and they'll say that I might be in another store or something like that. All right. Let's see what other things. I don't want to ask stupid stuff, though. Should, should Alex play it very cool and smooth with these girls and not chase anybody? Yes. Well, no, because I don't have to chase them. I just flirt with them and get to know them. I don't need to chase them down. That's just stupid. No, I don't mean like chase them like a caveman and throw a, a butterfly net on them. Or no. That, but you could, you could um, or lasso them like a cowboy. Yeah, you know what do you call a lariat? Yes. Yeah, well, yeah. Don't don't do that until until she's ready to be your girlfriend. <laughs> That's a joke. You just tell them uh, make up cards. I know a company where they they'll make two hundred business cards for free, and you just like you 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 design it yourself, and you can call it Alex the Beer Master uh, Broadcaster. Internet broadcaster, whatever. Yeah, um, I'll, I'll I'll send you I'll send you the uh, the, the web link. You'll, they'll make two hundred cards for free for you. Awesome, awesome. I want to ask the rod the, the rods if um, I'm trying to think what else I wanted to ask. Damn, now I lost my mind. Uh, hmm. Now I can't remember what I was going to ask. I hate that. Has Alex has in, in in many ways has Alex surpassed many of the people on the uh, fermented beverage and food live streams because he's consistent. Yes. Okay. Okay. See, a, lot, a lot of the others are like hit and run. They come and go. You know they don't. They're not. They're not consistent. So you have. I, I love my food. I can't help that. So you have a steady show. Yes. And 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 when you created a show, you dedicate yourself to it, like like what like what Jay does, like what Ronald Terrio does. He de dedicates himself to the show. But if people start getting stupid uh, on the show, it, it aggravates them. Yeah, I understand he mutes people now. I think it drives him nuts. But. Well, people are driving him nuts. People are asking him stupid questions. They're complaining. You know, if they don't, if he doesn't put them on the show immediately, they have a, they, they take a tantrum and they complain. 
I don't need to complain because I'll relax until I'm ready for my uh, until uh, I'm ready. He, he's like he's like me. I'm not going to pay to have ten people on video. Could you imagine what 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 a um, what a, what a a menagerie, what a circus that would be? Yeah, I know. Trying to manage ten people on a video, so he has six people. So yeah, it's much easier. Oh, now I remember, Rod Rods. Well, there is a girl that likes me at a store. Uh, I'm trying to figure. Out. It's at a Total Wine, or it looks like it looked like she liked me. It doesn't mean that's the truth. But is it true if a girl flirts with me? Does that mean that the girl likes me? But it's two ways, though. But I'll say it afterwards. Go ahead. Yes. Well, the girl, if the girl does it first, that's a good sign. Okay, so the rods know everything. You know, but, I think but the girl has to be consistent. Now, now, rods can should the girl be consistently friendly and flirtatious before? Alex assumes she's interested. Yes. Okay. Okay. So she could have been just nice, like I said. Um, yeah. Like I'm going about to just polite, you know. Yeah. yeah. But I like that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. There's a two way. There's two way. There's two flirtish ways. There's the flirting way that they want to date you possibly, and then there's this flirting way that they're just being nice. So there's a two way street on that situation. So unfortunately. Right. Mm -hmm. So I'm not trying to ask stupid questions. I'm just thinking what I need to was it what I was gonna ask. That's all. That's all I was doing. Yeah. Un unlike uh, that the other dude, what the hell is his name? My Michael Hilton. He was asking yeah. ridiculous questions, and he, he pissed off the rods, and they were whacking me in the face. <laughs> well, one oh, earlier they 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 were. They were getting irritated for a second because they were asking too many questions at once. Well, if somebody, yeah, well, uh, Gary Owens used to do that. He would ask, he would ask a question, and then the second he he would get the answer, he he's like, he would blurt out another question. In other words, he wouldn't give the rods a chance to pause. Right, and that's when they go smack in your face because they don't know which way to go. Well. It was getting, it was getting stressed out by somebody who was being pushy and obnoxious. And nice uh, to meet you again, there, Rods. I think you do a great job. And 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 if somebody is like very self-absorbed and self-centered, and and they 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 just ask questions about their personal life, and they don't ask anything else, you know, the Rods can pick up on that too. Oh, I'm going to ask them that. Thank you for telling me that. Hey, Rods, do you think I'm a selfish person? I want your opinion on that. Yes. Oh, my God. No. Okay. No, you're not. Oh, because they were going backwards. I was getting confused. They were, they, oh, when they go away from each other, it means no. Oh, okay. Okay. Now, uh, let's see. Um, the so uh, did you like the show I did with um, Nina Yordi and Ronnie S this past Friday? Yes. Yeah, because they're both intelligent people. They're both, they're both very intelligent people. Is that right? Yeah. Um, Rods, do you think I'm an awesome person too? I'm just curious. Yes. Thank yeah. you. Well, yeah, yeah, your heart's in the right place. You're not, you're not uh, malicious or vindictive or uh, selfish. I mean, we do get our selfish ways. Don't get me wrong, James. We're not perfect, but. Yeah, like uh, if somebody gave me, if somebody gave me a large bowl of green tea ice cream, which I happen, this happens to be one of my favorite. Green tea ice cream, never heard of it. Go ahead. Yeah, it's pretty damn good. And actually, it's kind of is my favorite. 
somebody gave me the ball and then another person in the room jumped right next to me and say, oh, can I have half of that? I would say no. So I would be, I would, I don't share my food. So right. That's uh, unless the food, unless the food is on a tray, like if somebody's bring, if it's a party and somebody's bringing out a tray of, let's say it was um, chicken marsala. Love that stuff. That's good. With the, with the mushrooms. Oh yeah. That stuff's good. Mm. I, I just took it out of the air because I happen to like it. Right. But that's good too. I like that. Stuff. Right. You know, with marinated tender chicken breast. He cooked in the marsala gravy with the with the mushrooms, and you know, then I would share. I would I would take, I would take a couple of uh, large fillets and take some gravy and some mushrooms and put it on top of the chicken breast, and then I would walk away, and so other people can have it too. You know, uh, uh, but if somebody gave me something I really like on my plate, no. Nah. You would you just get it in they would have to just get it in their own way. They can't take it. Yeah, like, like like let's say let's say it's a high end it's a real high end party and, and they brought me they said, James, you like crab cake Maryland crab cakes. I said I would say I love Maryland crab cakes. And they said, We're gonna fix a platter for you. And they bring me three big ass crab cakes with tartar sauce on the side, some some lemon wedges. You know, maybe some fresh coastal, freshly made coleslaw. I'm not sharing that, man. I'm, I'm going to suck that down. Yeah, then why I'll, would you? And yeah. I'll be selfish. But if it was something else in life, I'm not selfish. True that. True that. Yeah. You know, uh, which is pretty damn good. Now, now, speaking of seafood, I noticed that if I my favorite pasta. Dinners mm, making me hungry is with seafood mm -hmm. more, more than meat. Like, if I had a choice of sausage, meatballs, like what I had tonight, brajol, you know, as opposed to uh, spaghetti with clams, mussels, scallops, calamari, you know, mix it. I would pick the seafood over the meat. If you had seafood in your house, yes. If I had it, see, I, it doesn't. It doesn't give me a bellyache. It does. I don't get bloated. If you eat seafood, but if, if you I eat your... the spaghetti with seafood, oh, you know, it's it's to me. I think it's more digestible. Well, speaking of seafood, I'm gonna probably go get myself a little piece of pizza if that's okay, and bring it in here. No, warm it up. Go ahead. Oh, thank you. Okay, people. All you people that chickened out from joining my show, you are nothing but bona fide natural born jabronis. And I have I have an itch in the middle of my forehead that needs to be scratched. Oh, it feels so good to scratch the itch. Um, oh, great divining rods. Are a lot of these people, are they really chicken and, and cowardly when it comes to voicing their honest opinion on a live stream recorded show? So, divining rods, do these people have what I call Bernie Sanders? Do they have raisin balls? Should they be ashamed of themselves? Uh, are some of them pussy whipped by girlfriends or wives? Yes. Yeah, they're pussies. Uh, are they pussy whipped because they're afraid that their girlfriends or wives will withhold sex from them? 
So in other words, they're desperate, <clears throat> thirsty men that are afraid they won't get laid. Yeah, yeah, pussy. The pussification of the American male. That's what it is. The pussification of the American male. There he is. I'm just talking about the jabronis that didn't come aboard. Like, like Bob Barker used to say, come on down. You know, he had an affair with all those girls, Bob Barker. I never even heard of him. The models that run their fingers up and down the, the cars and everything. Yeah. I've heard of that, but I've never heard of Bob Barker. I've never heard of him. Yeah, The Price is Right. You ever hear of The Price is Right? Alex, what kind of pizza are you, uh, are you consuming? Pepperoni. Oh, that's good. I like pepperoni. I like mushrooms. Mm. I love anchovies. I've had anchovy pizza a couple months ago. Uh, with bumpy. That stuff was good. Yeah, yeah, anchovy pizza is really good. I mean, one of my exes used to call them slugs. I go, they're delicious slugs as far as I'm concerned. She didn't like them, apparently. <laughs> no, she didn't like the way they looked. Oh. She probably wouldn't like the way they tasted because they're they're a bit salty. They are salty. But then again, pepperoni is a bit salty, too. That's true. So any other questions with the ramrods and stuff there, James? Or? I'm sure there'll be others. Um, let me see. Divining rods. I my passion for food and cooking started with my grandmother preparing many delectable dishes for me when I was a kid, especially during the holidays, right? And then later on I watched all the cooking shows on TV. Public, you know, public access. To, you know, I watched all the famous cooking shows. <laughs> now is is the love for cooking something that is just part of the individual naturally? In other words, it's there or it's not there. Mm. Yes. So so it's like it's like it's like people that choose a musical instrument. And you wonder why? Is that the same thing? It's just they have a passion for it. <clears throat> yeah, I guess the same thing. I guess the same thing applies to hobbies and interests, right? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> hey, Ramrod, I'm curious. <clears throat> Will I ever get married? I might not want to do that, but I'm just curious. Yes. Now, will Alex get married in a by him and his bride uh, uh, being in a tank of imperial IPA while the minister or the priest is going through the ceremony? Like, would they, would they be like naked in a tank of imperial IPA? <laughs> <laughs> hey James, <laughs> you you know you you're saying the other people talk ask about the stupid questions, but you're <laughs> James, you're cool. You don't realize it, but you're cool beans with my book. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, you are that would, cool. That, that would probably make the. Um, 
the, the Philadelphia uh, mainstream news. Yeah, but then being naked, I mean, that could happen. I don't know. But that's what they say, so. <laughs> no, you're, you're in the beer. You're in the IPA. You and your, your bride-to-be. Oh, okay. It's not fish. Oh, okay. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Yeah, whereas the IPA is like up, up to here, the level. Oh, then you don't see that then. You're right. You see the IPA, you don't see it. Okay. And what do you think about baptizing? What do you think about a beer a beer enthusiast having his child baptized in, let's say, uh, imperial stout? Instead of, instead of holy water, having him dunked under uh, in, in stout. Yeah, but the thing is, he would have to drink it by accident. And we don't want to give babies alcohol. No, you know, in Europe, in, in Italy, and in, in Europe, they used to give children alcoholic beverages. I guess that was like a tranquilizer. Oh, what I'm saying is, do you think that's a good idea to actually baptize your baby over your favorite beers? <laughs> <Probably not. laughs> James, again, you score again. I wonder if, if Alex, uh, uh, not Alex, I'm sorry, what the hell's his name? Eric Fraunfelter. I wonder if he was baptized in, in a craft beer. <laughs> You're going to have to ask the rods that, but then that's a stupid question. To yeah, I don't want to do that. Huh? You don't want to do that. Yeah, that would be stupid. <laughs> yeah, it would be. <laughs> Oh man, you're awesome. You don't see it, but you're awesome. I think we have a great show together. What do you think, James? I think so. Now, when um, Ronald Terrio does Dawn Busters, yeah. sometimes a train goes by and you hear the train whistle. True that. W wouldn't it be better if a rooster kept on crowing during Dawn Busters? Yes. Hmm. Yes. I I sent him a rooster, a rooster crowing sound that he can use. He never used it. Well, I mean, you, you, oh, it wasn't you. Never mind. It was Erica that did that. I was about to say you, but it wasn't. It was Erica. Send uh, what's the name a speaker thing and, and use it. So, yeah, there's nothing. Yeah, I thought it was you, but it wasn't. Yeah, supposedly. <clears throat> Um, you know, Beer Man uh, made his own background. Yes, right. Yeah. You know how he was able to do it. You have to have a you have to have a green background. Yeah, green screen. Green mm -hmm. screen, right? Mm -hmm. And then you can you can put anything uh, behind you. Now he says it could be blue, but I think the original is green. True that. Ugh, like I, I have all kinds of backgrounds. I, I'm, I'm partial to a brick wall uh, castle. I like castle stones. And I don't want to be mean, but I really it does bother me. I want to ask the rods, <clears throat> will I meet a girl in the salon? I just I don't know why. It's just my in brain. Somalia. No, in some in, no, in a hair salon because oh. there's a girl I like in again yeah, not. So <laughs> oh my god! All right, go ahead. Uh, will I meet a girl in 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 a salon? I uh, will I meet a girl in there? Oh, well, you're you're a young guy. You could you could play the fields. The 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 the, the rod said yes. So there we go. Now should uh, Alex should Alex put a cucumber down his pants when he goes to the hair salon? <laughs> Yes. Oh, James, you, you, you're awesome. <laughs> no. Alex, um, Alex, do you think uh, the cards would be a great idea for Alex to have made up so he can hand them out to, uh, you know, girls that like him? No. 
Well, you know what's good about the cards? If you make them attractive, they're, they're, more, they're least likely to get lost than, than a piece of paper. Oh, yeah, because they're a card. So, yeah. It's just right. A... Right. Like, I'll give you an example. I'll show you my card made where I got them made 200 for free. I'll show you. All right. Right here. Oh, man. When I started laughing, I got lighthead there for a minute. That was funny. Oh, <clears throat> Felix Unger. Oh. All right. What the heck? Uh oh. They're uh -oh. empty. They're empty. I forgot to refill it. Oh. Oh, that, that, that doesn't help. Hold on for a second. Hold on for a second. Huh. Weird. You're empty drone cards. Oh. Uh, bear with me. Huh. No big deal. <laughs> oh, man. Gotta have fun. Oh, man. <clears throat> <clears throat> Well, James will be back really soon, people. Whoever is watching, let me see if any more. Yeah. Oh. <clears throat> All right, now. Okay, let me get it. There we go. Oh, yeah. oh. Those kind of cards. Yeah. Oh. See, I, because I was a personal trainer and nutritional consultant. I made that. I got my email, my phone number, got all the information. Yeah, but you realize you're putting your personal phone number out there. You know that, right? Well, I only give it to people, you know, oh. people that like me and that I like. And I feel, anyway, that's the company. Oh, nice. 40, I guess, ver 4com Oh, so be oh, so will this be will this stream be here or this will be going away since you showed your number because you obviously did that. Wow, well, why I, I I showed it real close. Yeah, I saw it, but I don't remember it. So you're good. Yeah, no, I'm all right. I flashed it, you know. But anyway, uh, that's what it looks like, and you know, but you could you could design them any way you want. You know, they don't have to look like this. I just chose this because it looks like, you know, nutrition. It looks like fruit. So basically, I can use that card uh, for my – I can basically get a YouTube uh, YouTube card. So yeah, because I've seen people use YouTube yeah, cards. So, so in other words, you can put your YouTube uh, URL on here. You can put your your email on the bottom. Uh, you can put. Um, like for instance, if you want, you, you know, you can eat, you can even create your own Facebook page, uh, Alex the Beer Master. I did. There you go. You you can put that. You can put that link on the card. And you know, as long as they can contact you, um, yeah. I, I guess it's best an email. You know, if the girl, if the girl seems to like you, you like her, or or whatever, whatever. And um, you make it look nice. So if it's lying around, you know, let's say on the girl's dresser, that it's not going to accidentally go in the garbage. Yeah, you know, because because it stands out, you know, it's it, it's not like a, a 
a piece of scrap paper with it's all folded up. That's true. That's true. It's all folded up, you know. Yeah, I mean, I would do that card just for the bit, just for the fun of it. So if people ever want to check me out, or I mean, they check me out all the time anyway. So yeah, so like what I would do is every video you're in. I would put it on your Facebook page, uh, uh, YouTube channel, um, and on your profile. You got three. Oh, yeah. oh, about me. Like they can go on there and they can find it. Yeah, my my Gmail and stuff. Yeah, right. Yeah. Like when you when you do your food show, it's on. It's automatically on your YouTube channel. Oh, it is. I didn't know that. I, I go on my food channel. I don't see that. <laughs> yeah, go go on your if you're if you're using if you're using live stream. It and and you're you're choosing um, YouTube. Yes, you're streaming to YouTube. It should be on your YouTube channel. Oh, it should be. All right, let's take a look here. So let's then see. you then you could copy. Oh yeah, yeah, it is on my channel. It's the Alex B Master and it's my Gmail. Right. So you can copy where it says share underneath it'll say share. You can copy the the URL of that show and you could put it on your Facebook pages. On your on your profile, you can put it on your your Facebook page and it'll appear. Oh nice. Now what is all this? I'm curious. Uh, what is all this? This says I add my add a, I'd add another account if I wanted to or something. Alex the beer master. No, I'm talking about all these things right here. These free things. What am I? What am I looking? At? I'm looking at Facebook Messenger. I'm looking, no, I? you look at my YouTube stuff. Is this? Is this? Uh, this says add account and stuff. I think it says that. Add account. Yeah, so I can add another account then if I wanted to, like add two accounts then, right? If I don't even see, I don't even see that. I wonder what that means. Well, you could click on it and find out what it means. Well, what you need to do, you go on your, you go, you you hit your phone here, you hit, oh, you hit this, you hit your profile, and then you and then you see uh, the blue thing there. You hit that, I think. I'm not sure. Let me see here. Yeah, you hit that. Oh, no, 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 that's not it. That's not what I want. Mm -mm. Trying to think here. How did I did that? I go to my... Okay, I have to hit my Gmail. I have to hit my Gmail, I think. Oh, yep, yeah. I have to hit the Gmail, and then you see that. If you hit... You have to okay. hit the Gmail. You have to... As soon as you see it, you'll see the, um, the little arrow there, and you hit it, and then there's your... There. Oh, okay. It says add account. It looks like you're adding... People. Well, no, I. Oh, I, I thought it was adding account. Oh, it's, it's got um, it's got an image of a person. Um. So oh, okay. yeah. So all your videos that you stream should be there. It is. It is. I thought I could add another account though. I thought that. Right. Was, and right. then, and then you can just copy the URL and you you could share it. You could you can you can you can copy and paste on on. Uh, and I will probably. I don't know if I'm going to do that right now, though. I don't, you know, I don't feel comfortable right now. But even though I am a public figure, <laughs> well, I mean, you could. I mean, you could put it on on the um, the Facebook, uh, not profile, if you want. You could put it on the Facebook page. Right. That's true. That's true. You can put it on the Facebook page, and then you can, uh, if you're a member of, are you a member of uh, Tyrio's uh, Alcohol Legs? Yes, I am. Okay, so you, you, you can promote your, you know, promote your pages on uh, alcohol weights. Awesome, awesome. I, and I'm on your stuff too. And James, you made a new account, I think, on Facebook because I saw it. Uh, maybe it's just me, but uh, it's on one of my. Yeah, you did. I think this is you. Um, that's a new account that you. Oh, sent. that's that's my fitness and martial arts uh, group. Oh, exercise and, and professional wrestling. I don't see anything. Oh, here it is. Here's the wrestling. Okay. But I don't see you talking about it, though. 
No, I talk sometimes. Okay. Yeah, I talk. I talk sometimes. Uh, um, the um, uh, what was I going to say? Uh, oh, you you can also join Eric's. Uh, uh, yeah, I think I did. Uh, Massachusetts uh, beer reviews. Yeah, I already did that. Let me see. Let me make sure I did. At least I think. Yeah. No. 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 I saw that. That's uh, that's the the James P. Madonna food uh, stuff. So that's that one. And then I have uh, this one. I'm already. I'm already. There you go. That's Eric. That's yeah. Eric, Eric Fronfeld. Yeah. Yeah. So you can't go onto these pages unless they invite you, though. Basically. Well, I, I used to be a member, but they I got people rubbed me the wrong way, so I quit. Oh, you left Eric's thing. Oh. Yeah, because a certain person rubbed me the wrong way, mm. pissed me off. You know, uh, I'm not, I'm not a, I'm not a. Uh, to to be engulfed in the general public, you have to have uh, a lot of tolerance. You know, uh, like for instance, I won't be going on Wild Card Wednesday for a long time. Because somebody really ticked me off this past Wednesday, and uh, and Jay no Jay noticed what happened, and and he he agrees with me. Uh, I have a right to be upset. I remember the one time you were upset, like a long time ago. This is when I first met, before I even met you. I think I might have met you already. That's right. That was Ronnie S. Yeah, that man. That was just crazy, man. I saw your vein. <laughs> it was like, and this is when you had your hair cut and stuff. I remember that. I'm like, wow, that's crazy. That was two years ago, wasn't it? Well, Ron Terrio says he's getting pretty sick and tired of certain people. Um, oh. Being disruptive or or acting really stupid, and you know, he says he's not gonna. He, everybody's gonna have a time limit to give their review, <gasps> and he's gonna have te themes. E every show is gonna be a theme. Oh. Now, 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 Eric got very upset Wednesday with Mister Tyrio because he kept on. Um, uh, muting his microphone. But the problem is people won't let somebody oh. talk. They can't, they try to dominate the show. Like let's say let's say Ron Ron says, okay, Alex the beer master, it's your turn. You got the floor. Uh, you know, present your beer. And you're trying to talk, you know, and Ron goes like this, makes you full screen, right? Mm -hmm. And you're talking, and then all of a sudden people are interrupting you. Like a certain someone, people start interrupting you. Wow. And what Ron does is he mutes the people that are being disruptive. Oh, but he's never done that before, and that's what shocked me. <laughs> well, I mean, he feels that everybody should be able to give their review uninterrupted, and, and if, if he allows, if he allows people to cut you off, that means the show is going to be longer than one hour. And Ron, Ronald doesn't want to do anything longer than an hour. Right, because well, he has other things to do. He doesn't yeah. want to sit there. Be on the computer. Yeah. Well, Wednesday he went over. He went over two hours. That's the first time I ever seen that happen. Oh, that's the first time you ever did that. But what I'm saying is, you, if you allowed everybody to interrupt everybody, the show will it'll never end. Oh, it won't. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. Like what he what he wants. What he likes to do is at the at from the beginning of the show. Until 
maybe 75% through. You, you um, discuss the theme, if there is a theme. Right. Everybody gives their reviews. Everybody gives their scores. You get that over with. Okay, now everybody, everybody reviewed their beers mm -hmm. or liquors, and they gave their scores. Mm -hmm. Okay. So the show is pretty much complete. Right. Now at the end, if people want to chatter, and banter back and forth about, you know, maybe sports or politics or, or science or whatever. You know, the show is over with, so people people can can talk. relax now. They can calm down, and have fun now, right? Well, yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, but the problem is sometimes um, the host of the show sometimes he tells other people not to dominate the show, but he himself dominates the show. <laughs> so it, you can't win. It no, you can't. <laughs> like you'll say, you know, don't don't try to don't try to talk over everybody and dominate the show. And, and then the host goes on and does it. <laughs> <laughs> you think James you think he does that, um, Ron? He <laughs> He's a jerk. He no, he doesn't intentionally do it. I like him. I think he he likes to if if he thinks of a story that's true that is interesting, or if he thinks of a of a funny story or joke, it's like if if you don't if you don't say it, you'll forget all about it. True that. You'll forget to say. It. So sometimes you have to say something while it's fresh in your mind. If not, you'll never ever to remember it. Probably, like we won't, yeah, you, you won't ever remember it. Yeah, and that's, that's true. That's what will happen. But uh, well, I enjoy his uh, educational input. Uh, it's very, uh, uh, very interesting. He's a, he was a history teacher. Sure and, was. Uh, and he's a funny guy. He's got a sense of humor, and uh, you know. He, People can learn a lot from uh, his shows, but people have been aggravating him and getting getting under his skin, and he's sick. He's just sick of all the stupidity and uh, and craziness. And uh, I don't blame him. You know, I don't ever see craziness on your channel. Ever? Well, I well, cry. I mean. Well, you see, I only let it get so far. Like, if somebody, if somebody is being crazy, but they're contributing um, something funny to the show, mm -hmm. if, if 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 the people are contributing something, like if two people start debating, mm -hmm. and the debate turns into an argument. Mm -hmm. I'm not gonna break. I'm not gonna break up the argument. That that, that that's entertainment. Unless that's it gets it. really out of hand. Like, no, really. let it go. Let it go. Let it hang. Let it all hang out, brother. Let it hang out. Okay. You know, I mean, I don't want people like it. <laughs> yeah. Well, so then, yeah. Right, then I would have to ring the bell. Yeah, let's calm it down now, people. <laughs> let's, you know, let's keep our composure here. Did let's you ever have to do that or no? No, but I'll, I'll let it fly. I mean, I'll, I'll let the fight, I'll let the argument go because then it becomes, it becomes interesting. Uh, and then if I stopped it, then I would be a hypocrite because if I, if I say uncensored, uncensored shows, anything goes, then mm -hmm. I would be a hypocrite. Like if, if there was a girl on video as a guest and she had a little too much to drink and she took her top off. Hey, who am I to stop her? Yeah, but it could ruin your channel. That's the problem. Why? Uh, women are not supposed to go topless? No, 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 no. What I'm trying to say is if she took all her clothes off, they would think YouTube, I don't care, but YouTube might think it's a bad thing. You know, you know how YouTube is. You know, they... Well, that's why, that's why, when the show's over, I I clicked 
it, it, this show is not for children. Like if you go, if you go where it says edit on the bottom here, yeah. on the on the bottom right, if you click it, it'll say if you want to edit the show, and you you want to add it to a playlist, and then it'll say uh, you can add meta tags. Uh, well, description I already add over here. Yeah. Meta tag, meta tags are are so the search engines can find you. True that. They're they're keywords. Hmm? Okay. Like if you typed in craft beer, comma, Alex the Beer Master, comma. It would come up as my channel. Yeah, there those are those are meta tag keywords. So it'll be it'll be a bunch of keywords with a with, separated by a comma. And um, you can add as many keywords as you want. It doesn't matter. Like, because I look up my channel all the time, and I look up just Alex the Beer Master, and the first thing comes up is my channel. Yeah, yeah. But there's a part where it says, is, it, is this video for children? And I say, no, because I know what is appropriate for children to see and listen to. So that's why I click no. Yeah, but you realize kids could still click on this. If they want, they could. That's the problem. <laughs> but if they click on it, would it say before you hit this video? Would it say this video is not used for children? Once you hit, if I go to YouTube, because I go to YouTube all the time and I don't see that. Well, got, if they have, if a kid has a YouTube account, I would be kind of surprised that their parents would allow them to have any social media account. But you know, kids do have YouTube. They've always have. So maybe based on their age, if they click on a video and the video is for adults only, maybe like a warning would come up. Uh, I don't know if it blocks them or it just warns them. I have no idea. Yeah, I don't know either. I really don't. Because <laughs> if, if I click on your video right now, it takes me right to it. Yeah, because when I go on here and I go on my YouTube, your video is up. Your video is up because we're live together. Well, so, so if I click this, it's not going to go to warning. It's going to go right to us. Your video is up because we're live together. Well, so, so if I, <laughs> that's what I'm saying. So I guess I don't have it um, kid friendly on my end of the phone or something. I guess, or you don't. I don't know. It doesn't matter. Because anything else we gotta talk about there, James? Any ideas, my friend? No, I think that's about it. Um, I mean, you know, I mean, we 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 could go on about. Dating and relationships, but the, the the thing is that women have always been a mystery. Well, you've been like that for decades, millions and millions of years. Yeah, you know they they've always been moody. They've always been, you know, one day they're friendly, the next day they ignore you. One day they're flirtatious, then they ignore you again. You know, I say, my like my uncle John says. Ignore them. Don't pay them any mind, especially the real attractive ones. Because, because if you give them attention, then they're going to play more mind games with you. And uh, they hate to be ignored. So, uh, especially if they spend a lot of time putting on makeup and lipstick and everything. You know, and, 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 and buying all these sexy outfits, and then all of a sudden, guys are not paying attention to them. But you know what? That's good because if you pay attention to them, they play mind games with you. But if you don't, they can't play mind games because you're not paying attention to them. Right. So then they have to make the decision do I really like this guy? And then they're going to give the guy. Sh Signals, strong signals. If they really like the guy, 
I mean, if, and then if the guy's not paying attention to them, they're going to let him know one way or the other. How are they going to let him know? How would they do that? Well, they'll, they'll make a lot of eye contact. They might stand next to you. They might, they might smile, walk by and smile. They might smile and say, hi, uh, how are you? What's up? Um, they might keep on looking and, you know, just hang out where you are. Like if you're, if you're in a store, if you're in a store, you're, what you need to do is look at the products that you're interested in, even yeah. if you don't buy it. All right, you're in front of the shelf. Okay. The girl who if that is interested in you, mm -hmm. uh, regardless if you feel the same way, she's going to go boop, 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 and she's going to stand like right next to you, staring straight ahead at something on the shelf. Oh, pretending that she has no interest in me, but she's giving me a sign. That she does have an interest in. Yeah, like girls are not gonna girls are not gonna walk up to a guy in a store and stand right next to him and check out products in front of her, like right next to the guy. Right. They're not gonna, they're not gonna do that. So that's a strong signal. Wow. <laughs> so that's some strange girl can just come out of nowhere and start talking to me. Now that worked. In the past, that worked a lot of times for me in the dance clubs. Oh. Because you got all this room. You got all this room in a dance club. Mm -hmm. And she stands like like a few inches away, mm -hmm. right on the side of me, looking at the dance floor. But she's like right there. Uh -oh. now, who, she's got all the room in the world. But she's standing right there. So then when I, I, I looked... She looks, she smiles, and hi, hi, and starts talking. Bop, 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 bop. Okay. Yeah, you know, so there are, there are certain, you know, uh, usually it's obvious, you know, the, um, um, the signals. Oh, the signals are, are pretty obvious. Okay. So there, it's not rocket science. So what about the girl that I was at the store? Do you think it's possible she likes me? I mean, even though she saw me once, she seems flirty. But again, was well, she was she um, was she uh, politely friendly or was she like flirtatiously friendly? She was very uh, politely friendly, but a little flirty too. So it's half and half. You know what? Don't say go again. You know, be very nonchalant. Like I did before. Okay. Yeah, go again. Make like you're, you know, make like you're busy reading labels, you know. Yeah. But she was at the cash register when, when I, when she. Right. Well, you quietly go up to the cash register. If she looks and smiles and says, hello, did you find everything you need? Uh, how are you today? That doesn't mean shit. Because that could be like when you walk. With anybody. With anybody. Like if you walk into a, a, a Friday's or an Applebee's or. A, yeah. You know, and, and they have a greeter. And they're yeah. like, yeah, yeah, that's all bullshit. Yeah, that's just all being nice, right? Yeah, because they're you're a customer. Yeah, they have to be nice, yes. Right. But if if she engages in conversation. Um, that that's a signal. Like if she if she just says, "Did you find everything you need? How are you today?" That's it. That's just her normal schedule. Right? And she mm -hmm. rings she rings your products up on a scanner, bloop 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 bloop, and she don't make conversation. Uh, then forget about it. Now, if you if you see something interesting, like if she has like a funny hat on. Or if she has real crazy earrings, you know, you could say something about her hat or earrings um, or something. And if she starts 
talking a mile a minute, that could be that could be a good signal too. That could be an opening. Oh. You know, but but friendly friendliness just to be polite. Just to be nice now. So, so, so I don't know then. Maybe 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 it's just a little niceness then. I don't know. She just well, seems overly flirty. I don't know. Could be well, anything. Yeah, but being being just being just friendly and polite, that that doesn't get you two in the sack, you know. <laughs> Again, you scored again tonight, James. You really know how to make me laugh. I mean, I I rather not have people pat me on the back and say, "Oh, what a what a nice gentlemanly guy he is." Oh, he's a sweetheart. Oh, what a nice guy. But that don't mean nothing. Meanwhile, she, she's jumping in bed with the bad boys. Yeah. Bad boys, bad boys. What you going to do? What you going to do when they come for you? Yeah. That is possible. So she might have dodged for me, or she might not. It might be just her, her, her way of doing things when she's working, right? Uh, divining rods. Is it true that being too nice, being the perfect gentleman, the nice guy finishes last? Yeah. So you, the man, you think the man should always play it cool and be independent? Yeah. Well, they like independence, but then they want to have control once they have you. Yeah, right. Now, if you're, too, if you're too nice, then they take control. So for Alex's strategy, you feel should, he should play it very cool and smooth and independent. I want to be independent no matter what. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Otherwise, you know what happens? If you date somebody that knows they can they can make you jump when they snap their finger, they're gonna say, "Oh, I don't like your hobbies. I don't like your friends. Oh, why do you have to do that? Oh, you're doing the you're doing the beer review again. Oh, you're doing the food review again. Why do you have to do the food review? Then they start trying to control your your life." Then they have to leave because then that's not making me happy anymore. And then if you move it, if you move in with them, all of a sudden they re they try they start redecorating your place. They start putting like scented candles and and you know and dry flowers and all over the place and and they yeah they start redecorate. I notice for a fact it never happened to me because I didn't I didn't allow it, but I've seen other guys. Oh. It happened to them. Well, so you're saying friends and stuff. Okay, your friends and stuff. Yeah, they, they they don't like their friends. They don't like their hobbies. I'm so you're saying I have all these YouTube friends. I can lose them in a hot second once I have a girlfriend. If I let her cry. Oh, if, if the girl's bossy, she'll 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 nag you to get rid of all your, your friends, your your beer reviews, your everything. Your hobbies, your interests, because why? She wants you to worship her, and she wants your life to be centered around her. So you, you immediately don't count, because why? Because she feels that the, the old bearded cherry stone clam. I don't know what that means, my friend. The the snatch. Oh, once they have you, they have you. They feel that, that they got power over you because of that. Oh, the romance. I get you putting it. Yeah, yeah, because of the, the private parts. Yeah, I get you putting it now. You know, they feel that they got you. Just like these these dudes I know. I used to the guy used to talk real macho on the phone and then as soon as his wife came home from work, he, he got all nervous. Oh, I gotta go. My wife just got home. I says, why do you have to rush off the phone? Oh, my wife just got home from work. I gotta go. Blah, 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 click. The guy's a he's a wimp. He's, he's a, he was a pussy. Is he still your friend? No. No, <laughs> he ended up being an asshole. You know. <laughs> but you know, it's like don't listen. Don't brag about how macho you are. 
you know, don't talk like a caveman. And then as soon as your wife comes through the door, you become like a little, a, a, little, a little bunny rabbit. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I can't stand hypocrites. So that's why you broke up. Well, I don't get too personal with you because that's your personal stuff. But that's by reason why you broke up with your wife because she was trying to control you. <laughs> no, you know what? There's another reason, but she she did not like my hobbies and my videos and my friends. But she did not she did not cause me to give them up. Oh, I, I I never gave them up. Oh, but there was another incident. Okay, more more serious situation um, that you know I had to get a lawyer and all that stuff. Oh, like, all that crazy stuff. Okay, yeah, 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 no, it was it was something else. But but I never gave up my hobbies and my passions. Wow, or my friends. You still had them even during and after. Wow, that's yeah. The ones, the ones that didn't end up being total douchebags, the ones that are still my friends are still my friends. Oh, oh. And, you know, I mean, some people pretend to be a friend, but they're really not. Well, like I said, James, I tell this to anybody. If I don't like you, I don't need to be your friend. I could just move on. I don't need to troll you. I don't need to threaten you. I said, thank you for your time, and I move on. I, I, I can find better people. That's just how I see it, James. Oh, yeah. I mean, uh, uh, I've had, I've had, uh, I've had friends that I split up with for, for stupid reasons, not not that I was mad at them for stupid reasons, oh. but they they got offended for stupid reasons. Uh, like some, like one time a dude took his fork and stuck it in my my dish and and took food out of my dish and I got pretty pretty up pissed off. Well, you would have a right to get mad because she I don't want nobody's Jeremy fork in my dish. Right, so you basically said, you know what, you can have it, and I'll go get more food. Yeah, so he, he got offended. I I really don't care. <laughs> I really didn't care. Uh, I'm uh, the same way. I don't do that either. It's just yeah. There, there was another guy. We were out at a dance club, and uh, he was talking to this very attractive uh, girl. I of course, might have been Latin, and he walked away from her, and he was talking to other women. So I started talking to her. We were talking most of the night. She was very nice. And he 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 like he like freaked out on me. He got he got so upset. Like the woman was his. I go, wait a minute. Are you dating this woman? He goes, No. You you engaged to her, married to her? No. You you're you you are uh, um he was he was talking to me like I was deceitful like I was like I was uh, stabbing him in the back or something I said first of all you you spoke to her and you, you walked away and you you got busy somewhere else yeah so how is it that you're treating me like I'm um uh uh, uh a um, a bad friend. Yes. If if you have no real connection to this girl, yeah, you only met her at the party. It's not like you're dating her. Like you no, just... she, he was talking. He liked her, but for some reason, he talked with her. Maybe she wasn't interested in him, and he walked away and he started talking to other people. So he gets mad at me for talking to her. I liked her because she was attractive. And we hit it off. And it's like, what is it? Like all the women that he likes belongs to him. But he, you know what he was? He was he was some Greek guy, Greek American guy that came from a family with big bucks. Oh. So he was probably the type, you know, he felt entitled to he every felt, woman. He felt like, you know, anything he wanted, he deserved to get. 
Wow. But that's what that's a, that's an example of stupid reasons for mm. breaking up a friendship. Wow. So he got mad at you. So you end up having hey, I don't want to be your friend anymore because he ended up being jealous because you talked to the girl that he was talking yeah. to a few minutes prior. Wow. Now, now because he caused a scene. I couldn't exchange phone numbers with the girl because this guy caused a scene in public. So he so he blew me out of the water. He blew me out of the water. So what did so, you do? Try to find her and get her number when you weren't around? No, it was it was just embarrassing the way he behaved. Right, I, but when he was gone, did you finally go and get her number? I think she had left or something after he caused the step. Then I, you know what? I got in my car. I left. I left. I said, wow. this is this is ridiculous. This is stupid. Well, he must have been drunk or something. To treat you like that. Yeah, what do they call that? Cock blocking? Yeah, you do call it that. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, you know, but there are other reasons that are important for, for breaking up with somebody. Like that, like you just right. said, but well, yeah. not important, but I mean, terminating, terminating a, a friendship. Yeah. Uh, uh, some guys are insecure, you know. Um, like this one, this one guy, he broke up with his girlfriend, and oh. you know, they're only they're only friends. They're not dating anymore. But he doesn't want he doesn't want her to date any of his friends. Hey, man. That woman doesn't belong to you. You broke up with her, so she don't. She that's it. Yeah, she she's a free agent. Yeah, unless she's your girlfriend again. Sorry to disappoint you, buddy. <laughs> no, she she's a free agent. You know. Yeah, but you know what it is? You know why it would feel funny to see your ex girlfriend dating your friends? I think that might be the reason. In, in other words, it's it feels very awkward. Right. You get what I'm putting down now. So, what do you think? You think he should have done that? Uh, the friend should date the girlfriend should date one of his friends. It would feel weird if you. I mean, what do you think? I mean, well, it would be awkward, maybe to him. But uh, I, I got. I mean, what if I got along perfectly with her? You know. So. Did you ask her out? No, I, no, no, no. We always got we always got along great. Oh, you just stayed friends with her. Okay. I thought you asked her out or something. No, because for him to come out with a statement like that, you know, then it made me feel bad. Oh, if you ended up dating her, he would get mad at you just yeah, like he so would. In other words, I wouldn't have his blessings. Hmm. Yeah, you know, I, I don't I don't want to cause any drama. For no reason, yeah, for some yeah. girl. You know, but uh, but the wife situation uh, yeah, it was it was a pretty uh, good reason, you know, where I I had to get the, get a lawyer, a divorce lawyer, and uh, but anyway, that's that's water under the bridge. But you're still friends with her, if I remember correctly, aren't you? I think you no, said I, have, I haven't seen her since the split up. Oh, I thought you were friends with her. I don't know why. Oh, I know she. No, it can totally split because of the of the issue. Okay. The seriousness of the uh, the issue, wow. um, uh, you know, and you know what's sad? You invest so much time into somebody, and I bet you you were dating her or married her for many years. I bet you. Oh, my 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 family like loved her. They were very good to her. You know, my my sister was very generous with her. Wow. Uh, you know, and then then she ends up. Pulling shit over on me and uh, wow, yeah. So anyway, but that's you know the the the, the future moves on, like you said. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, time keeps on slipping into the future, like the old song. Yes, and 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 and, and time heals eventually. And you, it's probably been a while since your incident. I'm assuming. I don't know. Yeah, but. well, I don't, I don't keep grudges. No. I don't. I don't hold grudges. Okay? You just move on and enjoy your life. <laughs> I mean, I, I, I may forgive, but I don't forget. Well, yeah, because it was a hurtful thing. 
That's kind of hard to forget. <laughs> yeah, it's hard to forget. But, you know, I, I'd say the best thing for any, any guy to do is just to get involved with his hobbies and his passions and just, you know, just uh, enjoy yourself. Yeah, do what he enjoys. Don't if you have good friends, don't give them up for for a woman. Yeah, because if the girl, because then the girl's gonna have control over me, and if I want to talk to somebody, I have nobody to talk to except her, and she's not gonna care. So, why right. we, yeah. so if it doesn't if it doesn't work out, and then you call your friends, they're gonna say, "Oh, now you're calling us after after a year, you you." you we never heard from you because because of your, your girlfriend or wife or now you're calling us. See, yeah, yeah. it's gonna be it's gonna be a bad situation when you try to you try to go back to your friends. They're basically saying they don't want to be my friend anymore. Yeah, they're, they're going to say you dumped me, you dumped us for the girl, and and now you're not with the girl anymore, and now you. You want to hang out with us again? Basically, I'm not a real friend if I'm doing that. Exactly. Uh, exactly. Um, let me just ask one or two more things. Would would everything overall uh, after the uh, January twentieth inauguration would everything eventually go back to normal and sanity in the United States? Yes. Yes. Well, it's probably going to take work. It's probably going to take people cooperating, you know. Uh, um, so what happened was for the past four years is that a an insane sociopath was running the country mm. yeah I heard I heard uh, his daughter Ivanka and uh, the husband Jared Kushner they're very abusive towards the Secret Service like they like like if they if they can't find a, a toilet a bathroom they, they make the Secret Service run around looking for one they're like very they're very elitist. They want everybody to wait on them hand and foot. I got news for you. When when they're up on serious charges, they won't be so elitist. Wow. When, and, and there there's a lot of serious charges against that family. That's a shame. And, 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 and you know what the sad part is? Some... Some of the traitors are right in Congress. Some the some of the Republican congressmen are have orchestrated, have encouraged that whole invasion, including some of the cops. I heard that they're doing a part two of that. I hope that doesn't happen. Yeah, well they're they're ready for it though. Oh yeah, they're ready for it. They're ready for it. They're but so what was Trump doing? Overthrowing the government? Yeah, yeah, because he he doesn't want to accept defeat. He 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 feels. I guess he feels entitled. He wants to be the the, the master of the universe, the dictator of the world. Wait a minute. He wants to take our freedom away, Donald Trump. He he is. He acts like a dictator. Honestly, he's a, yeah. He's a despot, an autocrat. I don't see Trump leaving then, because a dictator doesn't leave, unfortunately. No, he, I, 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 I feel he's going to cause a great deal of trouble. But you know what? President-elect Biden has the military, Secret Service, the FBI. Trump has the same thing. You know? Yeah, but I'm saying they both have the same thing: Secret Service and the Army. Yeah, but just just because Trump says so, that doesn't mean he is going to still be president after January twentieth. Oh, he says he's still going to be president. He mm. could say he could say anything he wants. 
that doesn't that doesn't mean he's legally president. President. But what that happened, what that means is after January 20th, he can be convicted. You see, you you can't convict a sitting president. <gasps> a sitting president. This Meaning what he is right now. But in the next day or two, he won't be. Okay. Right. You see, now they can't touch him because he's a sitting president. But after the 20th, he, he's going to be in uh, civilian life. Then, then they're all, they're all going to go after him. Wow. I'm telling you, the shit's going to. The shit's going to hit the fan. You think the shit hit the fan this past week? This is this is going to be a humdinger of a week. Are you saying I'm going to see wars outside my door? I don't I don't know what's going to happen in South Jersey. I I don't think anything's going to happen in South Jersey. Just up in the capital craziness. Oh. But I know one thing. All, all the National Guards are, are on alert. They're on alert. Every state in the country. I don't see no National Guards on the street. That's because, knock on wood, New Jersey's been quiet. New York State has been relatively quiet. Oh, so just every now and then there's a flame. but yeah. not Pennsylvania, Philadelphia has been, you know. Wow. Relatively quiet. Wow. Uh, except the time, for, you know, during when George Floyd was killed. Which was uh, uh, the Black eight, Lives Matter. Yeah, eight, eight months ago, right? Was it eight months ago? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah oh, they, man, you know what? It could be a year ago this year. They, this tra year. they trashed Philadelphia. Remember that? Yeah, they burned the police stations and police cars, and it's just stupid. But you know what? They did that back in like 2002 or something for someone else. I don't remember. But I think there was another one, something. Oh, the Rodley King riots. Um, that was in 92, though, not 2002. <coughs> the Rodley King riots, that was in 1992. That was 92? I believe so. I looked it up. But but that was a couple of weeks ago. I looked at it. Let me look it up. Yeah, they had they had people on the roof of their business with with uh, with guns. Of course, of course. Defending, yeah, defending the business. Yeah, I don't blame. Let me honest with you. I bet you that's what they're doing now. They're, they have guns probably up on the roof right now. Uh, these businesses because we're getting the election this week. Like you said, I think it was Wednesday or something like that. Tuesday or Wednesday. I think they're boarding. They're boarding up the windows. Oh yeah, you're talking about in Philly, right? Or you're talking about in New Jersey? Any, any, any urban, any urban area. Yeah, but we're in urban area, so now I gotta worry about that now. Yeah. Where are they? Where are they giving? Are they giving a lot of vaccines uh, in Philly? Like at uh, where you know where the Eagles play? Uh, I'm pretty sure. I don't know. But I'm pretty sure they're because that's where the that's where the vaccine's supposed to have came in first. I don't even know if the spectrum is still around. Remember the, the Philadelphia spectrum? Yeah, I do. You, you, I can look that up. And see if it is. Did they tear it down or, or is it still? Yeah, I don't know. Let me look that up. The Philadelphia spectrum. Let me look that up. Yeah, they used to have pro rest, big pro wrestling events there. Let's see, here. Philadelphia spectrum. Uh, let's see here. Wikipedia. Well, here it is. Uh, let's see here. Phil W. Spectrum. Let's see if it's still around. Uh, it looks like it might be. I'm not sure. It says May 11th. I don't know if they turned it down or not, but. Uh, oh, Okay. Um, from 2010 to 2011, but that might be games, though. That's the problem. I'm trying to find the year. I mean, there's the picture, but I don't know if it's still around. Spectrum, yeah. That was it. That's the indoor arena. I I think the I think the Flyers and the and the 76ers played there. 
Yeah, I think the I don't know. It was found the names for Spectrum was 1967 to 1994. I guess they changed the names too or something at times. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. I'm trying to find if it's still around, but I don't know. Yeah, it was it was in it was a famous old indoor arena. You know, it was that it was the like the Baltimore Civic Center, the uh, the Capitol, um, what do we call it? The Boston Garden, Madison Square Garden in New York. Oh, I've heard of that. Yes, I've heard of that. Yeah, I, don't, I can't see where the if they got rid of it or not. I you cannot. Know, Los Angeles had the Olympic Auditorium. Yeah, I can't. I hope the Olympics will come back. They said they're going to do the Olympics this year in 2021, but where, where is it supposed to be held? I don't know. I don't remember now. It's been a while. The winter or the summer Olympics? I don't know. Either way, I don't know. I don't know which ones are they're doing this year. They should be doing both. I don't even know if they're going to have. And I don't think they're going to have an audience in the stands uh, with this pandemic. It's too early. It is true. They got to bury it with the vaccine first. They, what I don't understand was why why did they move the New Jersey Devils from the Meadowlands Sports Complex to Newark to the Prudential Center in Newark? Who, 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 who wants to go to Newark? Who wants to go to Newark to, to watch a professional team? York, New Jersey. Yeah, I don't know. I really don't know. There's a lot of public transportation, like trains going there. Maybe that's the reason. That could be the reason. That could be the reason. That could be the reason. The trains and everything, yeah. Do you think the pandemic the last two years like the last one did 100 years ago? Wait, what happened 100 years ago? Remember the Spanish flu? That lasted from 1917 to 1920. Well, they, they call it the Spanish flu of, of 1918. That, what happened was right after World War I, they brought it from Europe. When oh. the, yeah, when the troops when the troops came back home, mm -hmm. they brought it from Europe. That's why it was called the Spanish influenza. But, you know, there was no... I don't think there were antibiotics at that time. I don't... I, there was no... Mm -hmm. There was no vaccine for it. Um, yeah, but it ended in two years, though. It ended from, it started, well, 1917, but I guess it turned into a pandemic in 1918, I guess. You know, you know, what, that, you know what that could have been, Alex? That could have been herd immunity done the hard way. You know what I mean by the hard way? Like Everybody dies. Millions yeah. of people dying. Yeah. That's true. People dying, yeah. So do you think this fire's will last for two years too, just like the original? Yeah, but you don't want you don't want to see that many people die at all. I don't want it either. I mean, I mean, you you're talking about relatives and grandmas and grandpas and aunts and uncles and you know you're talking about uh, uh, maybe children that have uh, pre-existing illnesses. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I don't want to see that many people. Just for, I want to see the vaccines come out. I do too, but I'm saying, do you think this fire can last for two years like the last one? That's what I'm asking you. You mean it's going to like run its course and then disappear? That's what I'm saying. But it, but it'll, be, it'll probably disappear with the it'll probably disappear with the vaccine though. Well, the Anthony Fauci. Somebody asked Dr. Fauci, what happened to SARS? SARS-1 and MERS and all What happened to him? He says, well, the, the strange thing is as soon as we came out with a vaccine for it, it disappeared on its own. He says it vanished. He says, "We, I have no idea why. He says it just vanished. So basically what he's saying, since we're getting a vaccine here, this is going to disappear too. Well, I don't know. Nothing's disappearing in Los Angeles County. Hmm. Nothing's disappearing in LA. That's for sure. That, that's for damn sure. But uh, let's see what happens tomorrow, Monday. And uh, what's tomorrow? Tomorrow. Tomorrow is 
No, the, tomorrow is now, actually. Uh, it's the 18th. Yeah. So Tuesday's the 19th. So the inauguration is Wednesday. Yes. It's Wednesday. So. Do you think the inauguration is going to make the, the flu disappear? The, span, the, 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 the pandemic disappear? No. No. I know one thing's for sure. I'm 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 gonna be I'm gonna be sitting comfortable in my living room watching it. I'm not I'm not gonna be gallivanting around the, for, for the inauguration. Yeah, but Dr. Fauci, I think he knows something because he said it just disappeared, the last virus in two thousand one, two thousand two or no. Well, the yeah, the SARS uh, COVID nineteen is SARS two. Okay. SARS one. And MERS, I think these are also coronaviruses. Yeah, they're probably, well, they never caught it that, but they caught this coronavirus, yes. Well, coronavirus is a big family. Right. And it, they just went bye bye. They just, and, and he said it with a smile. He says they just disappeared. I think he did something with the vaccine to make it disappear. Well, of course, of course, they, they're not going to tell us everything. Of course. Uh, I don't know. Let's see. I, you know, yeah, they're, they're, only, they're only giving us bits and pieces of information. So do you think it's very contagious or you think it's just, they're just. No, no, I don't think it's fake. No. I don't think it. I don't think it's fake. I mean, I, I don't think it's fake. I said, do you think it's very contagious? Yeah. Oh yeah, and there's a worse contagious one coming out of South Africa. Well, I heard that was fake news, though. Uh, a mutation, a mutation. Well, these these Republicans that don't want to wear a mask, they're going to say everything's fake news. Oh. You know, Trump. He don't wear a mask because he, he, he thinks it's weakness. He wants to look like a superhero. Well, he had COVID uh, five months ago, three or four months ago. Yeah, but you know you know what he got? He got bombarded with, with every known possible treatment. He, oh. he, got, a, he got the whole uh, the whole buffet. Oh. Rendezivir, uh, mon monoclon monoclonal, monoclonal, monoclonal antibodies. He got the, the steroid that they use. Hmm. Uh, he got the vitamin D3, the zinc. Uh, I think he got the, what's it, hydroxychloroquine. He got it all. And I think Giuliani got the full treatment also. Rudy Giuliani got the full treatment. His son got the full treatment probably. Wow. Yeah, well, you know, the, the elite. You know, the elite and the wealthy. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Well, you know, I, I'm really hoping that Dr. Fauci is right, that this will just appear. <laughs> well, I tell you one thing. Joe Biden has some team of health the healthcare team and scientists for for global warming mm -hmm. he's got he's got the best of the best and believe me we're we're in good hands we're in good we're in good hands yeah I, I i thank the american people for you know making it their business to vote this year and getting rid of this lunatic right? because i he he has a lot of blood on his hands, man. You know, almost like three hundred and over three hundred seventy thousand dead people on his hands. That's true. Because why? Because most of it came from Europe, the COVID nineteen. That ain't two or th two, at least two million or more people from Europe flew to the United States during the pandemic. So he was supposed to close all the airports coming from not only Asia, but Europe. Hmm. Guess what? He didn't close your European flights. He closed, all, he closed the other ones, but he didn't close them. 
Right, right. So he he let them in. Hmm. I'm telling you, he is. I don't think there's anyone ever born that has as many enemies as he has. I mean, because look at Obama. He stopped that one virus that was in 2010. Uh, Ebola. Ebola. He buried it with a vaccine, I guess. I don't know. Yeah, but you know, e Ebola. Uh, yeah. Dr. Fauci says Ebola is much scarier and much worse than this, than COVID-19. So now he's saying this is a weak virus paired to the B, compared to the Ebola virus. Ebola is very bad. How did they stop it then? Because I've never heard about it again. <laughs> you know what Ebola, Ebola? Ebola liquefies your internal organs in a ma in a short period of time. And it has blood. You see blood. It blood your eyes shut. <laughs> Ebola is... Is it works faster to kill you, and it's and it's worse. What I'm saying is, how did they stop Ebola? Because I didn't hear about it ever. That, that's a mystery. I have no idea. I have no idea how they stopped Ebola. I mean, look at the smallpox was really bad back in the day. Smallpox. Smallpox was was worse than the, uh, I think, the influenza. Wow. So you're saying this pandemic is less deadly compared to the other pandemics? Of the past, yeah. Of the past. The only problem, the only thing that COVID-19 has uh, as an edge is it, it, it it's so contagious. It's It's so highly contagious. That's the only, that's the only thing. That's the reason why everybody's wearing masks. It's 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 extremely contagious. Hmm. I I have hand sanit I keep hand sanitizer in my back pocket every time I leave the house, and I got my mask on. You know, and I I got good masks too. You know, washable. Same with me. I have uh, that mask in my pocket. That army mask I showed you. That uh, that's heavy, but it's not as bad. I like I that one. Three ply. I got three plies. Three, three, three plies. Wow. But don't forget, I have, let's see, I have about seven, wow. five or seven women. I think I have six, but you know what I do? I wear one mask when I go out. When mm -hmm. I come home, I wash it. In, in the kitchen sink. Oh. I, I wash my keys. I wash my mask and my hands. You don't throw it in the washer? I mean, it's a cloth thing. I mean, no, no, you could, you could use, you can use bar soap. Oh. That kills it. No, you, you got to kick up a lot of suds. Yeah. I wash those three things. Then I hang it up. The next time I go out, I grab another mask, a, a, a fresh one. And then when I come home that day, I wash that one in the kitchen sink. Oh. And I hang that one up. So if, the, if, any, if any COVID lands on the mask, I'm killing it at, you know, as soon as I get home. You know, I, I have the uh, the pine glow uh, disinfectant. Uh, pine saw or something like that. Yeah, yeah. I spray. I spray the counters. You know, I do. I do the doorknobs and the counters. And uh, you know, let's say, let's say I go shop, and let's say this is a bottle of extra virgin olive oil. Okay. I'll spray. First, I'll make sure the cap is on. I'll spray it with the pine the pine glow rub it and then I'll rinse I'll rinse it in the kitchen sink and you know anything that's vacuum packed like the provolone cheese the salami bags of uh, uh, 
frozen fruit, you know, berries, whatever I buy. If if no if no water can penetrate, I put the pine glow and I disinfect it. Because it says 99.9% .9 kills all germs. So that's what I do. And then Including I, the COVID-19. Yeah, well, 99.9 .9 is what, what they all say. Wow. Yeah. You know, and, uh, well, look, if, if you soap up, if you, if you kick up a lot of suds with a bar of soap, and that kills it then you know that the pine saw is going to kill it. It says, you know, hospital-grade disinfectant cleaner. Oh, yeah, so that's what I'm Yeah, 99.9%. Yes. .9 anyway, I will say good night, and it's been, a, it's been a great show. Even though it's just me and you, it's still been, it's still been a great uh, high-quality show. Well, James, I... Thanks for letting me join. I guess I'll see you next Sunday, I guess. And I'll be spreading. I'll be posting this around. Okay, so I guess are we do this again next Sunday, or you don't want to do this? I mean, look, we did the second. No, yeah. I'm good. I, I'm good for. I'm good for Sunday. I'm good for late Friday night. Um, I'm good. Uh, oh, who was here? Little old Daryl. Daryl Macias is saying good night. Good night, Daryl. Good night, everybody. Good night, everybody. All right, see you later, James. I'll talk to you later, my man. All right. Bye -bye. I'll see you later.